The following is a live play of Winter's Daughter, an adventure written by Gavin Norman for his Old School Essentials line of role-playing games. I am running the game, and the group of players is new to Old School D&D, having mostly played 5th edition in the past, so that was a lot of fun for me. If you go down to the description below, you'll be able to see where I have put links to where you can get Winter's Daughter and Old School Essentials for yourself, if you're so inclined. And if you turn on the subtitles, you'll be able to see my interior GM commentary. You'll be able to see what I was thinking as I was running the game, which is hopefully helpful for new Dungeon Masters. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Enjoy! You guys are all from a town, doesn't really matter which, on the outskirts of Dolmenwood. Dolmenwood is a gigantic... Go ahead. Real quick, combat moves, are we tracking encumbrance based off combat moves? Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, uh, Standard, yeah, I'll, we'll get into it. There, there's rules for how dungeons work, uh, but they're pretty simple. We'll get into it once we get there. Uh, so you guys are on the outskirts of Dolmenwood, which is this gigantic mythic forest. Um, and one of you has a hook for a reason to go in there. Uh, let's see who oh, it is. It's, it's you. Uh, so an elderly long lost relative of you uh, has bequeathed uh, some minor wealth to you um, in the form of some deeds and papers, um, including a family tree providing you uh, that proof that you are a distant descendant of someone named Brigford the Wise, um, brother of Sir Chide. <laughs> this perks up everyone's attention because Sir Chide is a famous historical knight from way back in the day. And you apparently are a relation of his. Very judgmental, Sir Chide. <laughs> Sir Chide. Uh, everyone knows that Sir Chide um, helped fight in a war about 800 years ago in Dolmenwood, driving out the Cold Prince, who was a fairy lord who ruled Dolmenwood. And the uh, humans, including the Church of the One True God, banded together and drove out the fairies 800 years ago. Sir Chide was a big deal in that. And uh, so Brigford the Wise was, was his brother, and you happen to be related to him. Uh, this chart that you've received shows the location of the tomb where Brigford, your ancestor, is interred uh, alongside his brother, um, Sir Chide. Um, there's also notes in this ledger that you receive that the, there's a fabled sword and the ring of Sir Chide are also in this tomb mm -hmm. and are legally now yours. You own the whole thing. That's mine, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the doc there's documents that also claim that the ring has the power to open a doorway to fairy. Is it true? Is it not? Unknown. Okay. Uh, but you know where this where this tomb is. You know that your ancestor is there, and Sir Chide is there, and you know that there's treasure there. Do we know what is fairies? Fairy is this mythical land? A fairy is yeah, elf land. Okay. Um, it's the parallel dimension. It's where you from. came from. It's like Midgard. <laughs> <laughs> You're an no, elf. We're on not quite the same thing. Oh. You're related to the fairies. Come so we, he was given the tomb to go I plunder? Given, I was given the ledger that leads me to it, that basically says that this is now legally mine. Okay. That means anything that we take, it's not even robbing. Exactly. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so we're just going to skip ahead. You guys travel upriver into Dolmenwood. Uh, a couple of days travel. You find your way through the forest, and you arrive in a large clearing. Let me just get out of here. Uh, you arrive in a large clearing in the forest, and uh, the path leads. Let's draw a little version of it here. You got some forest. Your path leads through the forest. You find a up ahead of you. You can see a ring of standing stones, and then beyond that, a large barrow mound, about I don't know 80 feet across. That's clearly Ooh. been raised and um, was the, the tomb structure that people 800 years ago used. Um, it's middle of afternoon, the sun is starting to go down. The, uh, you can hear the wind whistling through the trees. And um, I don't know, what do you guys want to do? You're all just slowly approaching from over there. Um, if you want to, you can grab a, a character yeah, from over there. Yeah, let's do, it. do we know each other? Are we? You, we can assume that you all know each other. Yeah. We're friendly. I've, I've. You all heard about his good fortune, and you're along there for the ride. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I get some money, and now I've got a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. we'll grab a good dwarf-looking one. Soul. Yeah, these aren't terribly D and D-ish, no, but you can just use whatever. Maybe he's too rough. Nah, it's great. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I was. All right. You can also be that guy. 
It's like a big wrench. Oh, whoa. Oh, big plumber? <laughs> He's kind of dwarfy. Yeah. No, I like I like uh, my first goblin looking. <clears throat> now I got all this money, I need something to keep me humble. I brought a, a mirror just to keep my good looks in check. Pick one that resonates with you, Dave. Alright, here's my guy. Cool. This is the first time we're coming across this, this yeah. area, right? Yeah, yeah. See. All the maps that you received lead lead right to here. Okay, yeah. meaning this, this, this is where we're like going. entrance yeah. of some, yeah. some sort. Cool. There you go. <laughs> hey, isn't that, isn't that what you play? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Uh-huh. Are we supposed to, like, investigate? Is that something yeah. we're supposed yeah. to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Faramir, why don't you go stand in the what, middle of that ring? Like, no, but, like, <laughs> are we supposed to just say, I want to see what, like, in normal D&D? Hmm. Are you supposed to just look around <laughs> closer, or are we yeah, supposed to... Yeah, just describe what you want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. does this, uh, as I, as I think back on my learning in the magical university, mm-hmm. Does the ring of stones remind me of anything, lore or symbolism sure. or whatnot? Sure. Yeah, I mean, like, you know that the, the, this type of stone structure is um, the type of thing erected by the Druun. Uh, the Druun being this sort of weird ancient cult that is definitely a thing in Dolmenwood. People see them all the time. They're heavily robed. Uh, they're always doing weird rituals and cults out in the forest. No one's totally sure what they're up to because they don't really interact with the rest of the common folk. Uh-huh. Um, but there's definitely like runic runes and stuff on that. Okay. I will um, approach the runes, I'm not entering the circle, but on the outside mm. and, and study them and then look like I am uh, deciphering them. With my runic language, I'm going to say open. Open sesame. <laughs> as, Alakazam. As you get closer, you can see that there is, is kind of a raised rectangular stone in the middle of that. Mm. And there is a what looks like a deer carcass lying on top of it. Oh, oh dear! Okay. <laughs> How old is the deer oh, carcass? Dear. Does it look fresh? Or is it? It looks pretty fresh. Something right. just there's like fairly fresh looking blood. It's mm-hmm. like going all over this little raised stone. Something just sacrificed a deer here. I just pull the deer ago. carcass off and throw it on the ground. Ooh. No, you Flunk. walk into the middle. Okay, I've done that now. Yeah. Okay. Do the runes make any sense? Um. The ru- you speak Drew. Yeah. He actually wrote that down, that, yeah. he, that he speaks Drew. Um, what you see, you can't really read the ones on there because they're very worn out, but the runes around this um, low table, like on the sides, um, reference, um, you're able to piece together that it's referencing some kind of creature that lives in the lake nearby. Oh, sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Lives in the lake. And yes. You can make out the word rise, and um, yeah, that's about it. Mm. Yes, this seems to be an ancient burial rite. The symbols here uh, kind of detail the prayers they offer to the to the powers of nature around here in the forest. The sacrifice is meant to as a continual appeasement of those powers. Chum, have you been going to the Druun meetings? No, it's just <laughs> in my course of study, I I. I've picked up on I don't like different. the drone. Uh, I don't either. Can we go? No I'm going to go and investigate the, the huge the m- mound. Yeah. yeah, there's a big burial mound there. You get up closer to it, you can see that there is, in fact, a stone door. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's more like a giant stone flat you know, rectangle that's been like vroom, in the side of the uh, burial mound. It's partially overgrown. As you get close, you can see that it's there. Um, yeah. I'm trying, trying to open the right. door. Okay. Uh, it's not a door. There's no handle. Oh. No. It is a solid <clears throat> rectangle of stone that stone. just thump, oh. just like filling up what probably was an entrance at some point. Mm-hmm. Well, this looks like a use for a crowbar. A crowbar. A crowbar. 
Uh, you look strong. Isn't wait? There's not an open door. Oh, wait, what is rope's block? It's is? A, just a solid it's a stone. stone. It's not like it can, like swing open, but I guess you could think of it as a door if we could pull it down. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you could possibly try and shift it out. Uh, you could try and break it. You can wait. Can I put my grappling hook at the top? Use a crowbar. That's what the crowbars pull, are and for. Then we, and then we pull it down. Can we try to pull it down. Big you can try and pull it down. I mean, your crowbar can help. Like I'm, I'm not. Wedge it open I'm just pulling that. it out. You can use some rope. Do you right. get rope behind it? Well, the crow, the crabling hook has rope on it, right? Nope. It's just oh. a hook. Just a hook. Oh. Well, you need a hook. All right, so I, I grab the rope, have and I have a grappling hook, and I try yeah. to toss it up to the you top. You can use this. To help. And we all, I'm can anybody help pull, help try to pull this thing down? Yeah. yeah. Right. Absolutely, yeah. Um, what is everyone's strength bonus or strength I'm modifier? I'm not helping. I'm plus one. You have a plus one. I'm on one. I'm plus two. Zero. You're plus two? Zero. Okay, so you have a to total modifier of plus three. I'm gonna say that using your tools for leverage, that just like counts as another one, because like you just have yeah. more leverage on that. Uh, so that is enough to shift it. So as you're pulling on it, you can see it slowly start creaking out of the ground. The, the vines and the grass are like tearing away from it. It's like partially buried under all this foliage, just overgrown the mound. And it finally stands upright. You're gonna keep pulling. Wait, it was it was it was laying down. It was it was, it was leaning it was against like, oh, the side yeah. of the. Okay, okay. quick calculation, Pops. or is it going to fall on top of us as we're? Okay, the rope's rope fifty laying. feet. It's 50, the rope with fifty okay. feet rope. Yeah. Okay, then let's just keep pulling. Is that yeah. how let's yeah. do yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Pull yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wham, and it falls yeah. right over, uh, crashing into the ground. Bam. Yeah. What do you want to do? <laughs> I grab my grappling hook. Um, do we? See is there anything on inside? the yeah. on the lintel? Oh, no, you don't see it. It's just heavily overgrown with um, grass. Can and so I on. clear it? You can. Um, do you have a way that you want to tear it out with your hands? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just vines and stuff. I'm sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um, you spend some time clearing that out. Mm -hmm. Anything important up there? No, no, not really. Okay. You can see that it was part of a larger stone structure. You can see the stone. Um, it was like a stone dome almost. It's now been grown uh, over. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my lantern out. Put okay. that bad boy and... Maybe start going in. All right, peering in the entrance. Take a small skin out and take a drink out of it. Mm, okay. yeah. Liquid courage. Uh, so you I see... got my bow out. I'm like... Okay. Because, I mean, there's all these like, stuff in the movies. see some steps going downhill okay. into the mound. Uh, what order are you going in? So Fighter first. I'll go first, probably. And I, I put my bow <laughs> away and I got my sword out, I guess. Yeah. I can go behind him since I'm. I mean, anyway, I'm, I'm pretty, yeah, we're pretty similar. Good. Chum. So, wizard in the back. Who else? Where is everyone else? I'm, I'm with him, or either I, I, I'm, am I passing that lantern to you? Either way. That's true. You go right? second. Yeah. I'll, I'll go second. third. Okay. Done slayer. Okay. All right, you guys creep downstairs. You're going downstairs, walking down into the darkness. I say. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Let's going do going downstairs, you. Here into the first chamber. <clears throat> Did anybody light a torch or anything? Yeah, we got a lantern. You got a lantern in the front. Okay. okay. Yeah, it is pitch black down here. Uh, there's no light source apart from your lantern. I'm joking. Or, uh, River, 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 River Phoenix. Can you see? No, 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 that's not right. <laughs> so, uh, basically, how dungeons work, there's a structure called dungeon turns. Um, during a turn, you're able to do one significant action. And then the turn ends, you start another one. The main thing is that at the end of each turn, I roll a die to see if other stuff happens. Gotcha. So the amount of time that you take in the dungeon, if you take a lot of time, or if you're noisy especially, I'll roll this more often, it's more likely that stuff shows up. Sure. Possibly good, possibly bad, but you can just attract attention, basically. Okay. Um, so standard dungeon movement is 120 feet, so that's 24 squares. Uh, so you can, you can travel pretty far in one turn. Um, yeah, so we're just going to sneak downstairs and see what's in there. So if we travel, that's all we do, right? Um, so basically, uh, a dungeon turn is it's kind of an abstract amount of time. Okay. If, you, if you travel less than that amount, I'll let you do like some okay. other small thing. So 24 spaces. Yes. Um, but by default, gonna, it's supposed to, a turn is supposed to be 10 minutes, but 10 minutes is a very I'm long time. I'm also going to light a torch in the back. One, okay. two, three. All right, I'm right there. Do I see anything? Okay. You guys following? Yeah. Don't see anything. Uh, so as you walk in, <clears throat> there are little plinths. Tell me what that is. Stone, okay. oh, yes. Little like stone. Oh yes. Like half, a, like half a column. Yeah. A 
around each corner of the room. Um, on each of these corners, you can see that there are these small objects. There is a uh, silver crucifix over here. There's a wooden statue um, of a cherub. There's a holy book. And there is a large candle over there on that one. Um, other stuff that you notice right away is that the floor is uh, very old and dusty, very grimy. Um, it's clearly been just, no one has been here for a very long time. Um, and yes, what is everyone's alignment? I'm lawful. 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 Neutral. 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 Okay. Yeah, so you guys all walk in, and that's what you see as you go in. No more Droon, uh, Drunic symbols or anything like that? You don't see anything like that. Okay. Or any of these symbols uh, Up ahead of you, you see a large, <laughs> heavy door, <laughs> and there is, drifting into shadow, there are passages going this way and this way. Can we, like, file into the room? Yeah. A little yeah. bit? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, Unfortunately, know. these characters are slightly more than an inch wide. June is redundant. I'll just kind of get it. Oh. Yeah, I just want to. It's fun. I kind of want to go. I guess I'll grab you my gear. I'm going to so grab. Stuff that you can do is you can travel, um, you can uh, search, you can explore, you can examine things. Can I, can, yeah, can I go? I'll look at the book. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good idea. I think that's a very sure. good idea. Roll a die. Uh, you do not need to roll a die. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if, if you do, for example, if you do like an abstract search, like I search the room, then I might roll a die to see what you find. But if you're like, I'm going to go look at that thing, you don't need to roll a die. I'll just like, tell you what's there. Um, yeah, so this is clearly a holy book um, the, from the scriptures of the Church of the One True God, which is the um, religion that has been infiltrating Dolmenwood, driving out a lot of the previous religions there. And uh, it's, it's been there for a couple hundred years now, so it's fairly well established. Okay. Okay, so it's the scriptures. Yeah. That. I'm looking at it's, it's not Christianity. I'm going to look at the crucifix. It's definitely Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. I'm going to look at the crucifix. Yep, it's a crucifix. <laughs> definitely <laughs> not <laughs> Christianity, though, guys. <laughs> I put it in my pocket. You want to pocket it? You've like got a crucifix the, now. I'd like oh. to pocket the candle. You got it. What was the other object? The cherub. There's the a cherub. cherub. A wooden cherub. cherub. And the, and the book. I want to look under the chair. Is there anything written on the bottom of the chair? Uh, nothing written on the bottom of the chair. Actually, what? Cl- speaking of which, so this is pre-printing press. So, like, is this like an illuminated scriptures? It is. You yeah. can probably sell it. Yes. Yeah, you probably could. Um, yeah. That's interesting. You look, uh, who, who got the uh, the crucifix? I did. Yeah, that, that's made out of silver. Oh. oh it looks nice. Okay. Estimates worth about two hundred. How about that fancy candle? Fancy candle is just a fancy candle. I don't know. I'll take the chair, but you guys get a dollar out of it. I I'll feel like illuminated scriptures are the most priceless thing in here. That's probably true. Who are you? Gonna, you need to find someone to sell holy objects to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How much is this wooden chair worth? Like ten. <laughs> it, 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 it's a crudely carved wooden chair. Probably, <laughs> probably like that adorned a chapel at some point. Oh, this, yeah. Is, yeah. this is. We're, we're disturbing a, a burial. This is bad. This will have yeah. no bad consequences. This is your family. This is what you do. Yeah. <laughs> this is all mine. <laughs> My ancestral relics. All right. Are we trying the door? Oh, we're, we're not stealing this, correct? We're not. I want to do a generic I'm search. I'm taking this as... I mean, I, I live here. This is the religion of my people. Mm. I simply want to peruse it as we travel. Mm. To, have, to have the words of God on my lips and in my heart. <laughs> I want to do a generic search. Okay, yeah, so you're just looking around the room. It takes about 10 minutes or so, knocking over stuff. What you notice as you're looking around the room, um, your footprints and everyone's footprints are scuffing up the dirt on the floor. And there is color oh. on the floor underneath all of that dirt. Mm-hmm. You're noticing that right away. Floor? Yeah, it's like a stone floor, but there's clearly something under there. Is that visible to all of us now? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can use you just that out. Should we just wipe Let's clean it, off. Yeah. Let's clean it off. Figure it out. All right, we'll take the time. Clean that floor. I uh, clean up that floor, and it's pretty marvelous. You discover a large mosaic Whoa. taking up most Whoa. of this whole floor. Um, and just from your general knowledge of history, you recognize it depicts uh, Sir Chide um, atop a white charger, uh, piercing the heart of a fairy knight with his sword. Not the gold prince? Um, unclear, but it's, yeah. it's a fairy knight of some, some, some sort, yeah. Okay. And uh, there is an inscription as well. Oh, snaps. Um, it, you can tell that it's written in Old Boldish, 
which I don't think any of you took as a language. No. Um, but you, you know a little bit of old languages. You're able to um, recognize a couple of words. Um, Frost and King come out. Ooh. But apart, apart from that, it's really hard to pick out. Uh, Woldish is like the normal language of the forest. Old Woldish is like Anglo-Saxon would be to us. Sure. So it's like it's, it's sort of English. You can only pick out like a couple sure. words. The Wodes. Mm. We're close. I can smell Woldish it. Woldish or Woldish? Woldish. W-O-L-D. Okay. All right. Is this this is, does that before? reference sound familiar? Frost, like a frost king like prince, from cold like prince. Cold, the cold, cold prince. Cold prince. Yeah, I mean, you know that uh, you know that the cold prince's armies were frost elves. Wife of oh, the that was, that was of the his chili name. queen. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys want to go down? Do you guys want to go down one of these doors, or do you want to go? I want to at least check to see if the doors like. Easily openable. Okay. I mean, is it is it locked? Is it? Uh, let me. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. fighter tries to open the door. Yeah. Uh, the fighter goes up to the door, press on it. Up close, you can see that there's actually a small inscription there as well. Oh. It just says uh, "the most dear" written on it. Like <laughs> D E E R. D E A R. Oh. What is? Sorry, say that again. Uh, sorry. Sorry, say that again. Uh, the most dear. Yeah, I don't think it's. On it. I don't think that's going to be search side. Made up of heavy stone, but as you touch it, it, it moves. It's not like oh, really? locked. It doesn't, it doesn't appear to be locked. It's a yeah. Dear that I sacrificed. Juiced. Oh, um, you guys want to go in there? Sure. Yes. All right, I'm pushing. It. Do I see any? I don't see any trap or anything. I'm you expecting. No, you don't see any traps in here. I'm pushing it open. Okay. Let's get it open. Pushing it forward. Through it open. Healthy oh, choice. Wow. Is there some dust in here? Nothing nuts around the table. Oh, oh, Grandpa Alfred. So we're going uh, fighter first? Yeah. That's you, right? No. Oh, no, he did it first. Right. Right. Yeah. And then, I dress uh, like a monkey when I go to the dungeons. Pushing the door open with your lantern lights up this rather long chamber, and you immediately see a bunch of very strange stuff going on. Um, start off with, there is a large fissure in the floor of the room, like a crack going like that. It's like the floor has been rent open by something. Um, up above on the ceiling, there is some sort of like, there's these sheets of like um, greenish ichor or goo that's like dripping down from the ceiling into this crack. Uh, whether it caused the crack or something else is not totally clear. Uh, there are some tombs in this room. There is a like sarcophagus here, uh, and there's one over here, there's one over here, and there's two over on this side. There's one there, and there's one there. Uh, the third thing that you there's see... Five. Okay. The fi- yeah, there's five like, sarcophagi. The third thing you see is uh, skeletons, two of them, dancing in midair. We're at. They're like right around here. They're they're dancing like waltzing. Yeah. Two of them together oh, around okay. in a circle in the air above like where the fissure is. Do they have goo dripping on them then? They do. They're like covered in goo. All right. Yeah. It's like dripping off of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you walk in and you just you're confronted by this, whatever this is. Hmm. Those skeletons think we, are usually bad, right? I don't I think we want to disturb them. They seem like non threatening right now. What's the, the, what's the fissure? Stuff. Can we, can, we, can we investigate a little bit without touching the green goo? You can move further into the room. Where's the green goo? It's dripping off. The it's dripping from the ceiling down all around, around, in and around this fissure. I feel like it's potentially it's caused this crack. Civic. Okay, I got it. Yeah, be careful. I also could have done something to the skeletons if they're Hello, I, hello skeletons! Oh, we're just talking to them, are we? <laughs> hello, skeletons! How are you today? <laughs> what? As they're as they're waltzing, you, they, they their heads turn and they oh, look at you geez. as they're doing this, and they kind of like beckon you. Oh no! Oh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> they're still going. They're still waltzing. They're having a great time. Who are you? Do should we start dancing too? <laughs> their mouths open and then close. They have no larynxes. <laughs> can I? I'd like to see if I can. I want to check out the closest one without getting close to the goo. I want to just see what the sarcat. Yeah. Sarcophagus. Am I seeing any si- sort of signs? Any sort of sure, sure. images? Yeah, I was getting close to that, that, that one over there yeah, on, on the left. <laughs> oh yeah. So you immediately see that there are um, brass plaques on on all of these. You can see around the room. There's a brass plaque on that one. Uh, that one says Lord Brigforwith, father of Sir Chide. Ooh. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah, so this is the fan. And there's a little a little portrait there that's like carved into the stone. A okay. stocky man, a round head, a chunky beard. 
is is this something that looks like it's easy to get into? Um, hold on a second. Yeah, the I should point this out. A and B, let's call these A and B. These are open. The okay. lids, the lids are open. They are open. These ones, the lids are not open. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, that's intriguing. So, we so think two the, skeletons, yeah. two open kind. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> um, good uh, let's just if they're they're happy dancing. I mean, I'm all for profit. I feel like we shouldn't plunder their tombs while they're here. I agree. So oh, just God. just throwing this, that out there. This room is might there, not be worth lingering. Is there anything just, in the, yeah. in the can, I want to see looking into B. There doesn't seem to be. Can I see if A? Totally empty. Who, well, I want to see who A. Yeah. Can I get over there safely? Is A yeah, and his you wife? Yeah, you can sort of scoot around. They're dancing like right over your head. Yeah, uh, but that's fine. Uh, you get over to A, and it says uh, Lady Amaranda, mother of Sir Chai. All right, it's a parents. And a little portrait of a tall, elegant, stick-like woman with a big nose holding a book. So then the other side is going to be the what the, the siblings? Chill. Who's this one right here? Uh, down on the sea. That one says, uh, Emmeline the Chaste, sister of Sir Chai. Yeah, yeah. Emmeline? Uh, yep. Emmeline. No. A uh, petite woman with a mourning veil cradling, cradling a cat. Brother brother is, is after sister, so I'm going to go to the next one. Next one up says Brigford the Wise, <laughs> younger brother oh. of Sir Chide. This is my That's man, your relative. A man, this is, this a man is uh, wearing a chain mail, hound at his side, bow in hand. Oh, I'm wearing portrait. chain mail. It's like he's it's Passed right down, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you opening oof. it? Um, yeah, can you watch the skeletons? Just make sure they're cool. I'd like to potentially, I'd like to see if I if I can start shifting. Like, open it real quick and close it again. Um, it, it's a heavy stone okay. lid. You can't really. Uh, I would. Would you, you like me to help? help. Yeah, yeah, I'm help. happy to help. Okay. Okay. Um, you're, you're out there. And you're just gonna like lift the lid off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he, he's, That's cool. You can do that. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. You get over there and you're positioning yourselves. The skeletons freeze in midair. Mm. Mm. They're both looking at you. Hey, uh, remember remember what I said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Potentially, so is is this something we need to come back for then? Because this we are coming down here for this, and it is right here. Do we know it's? Well, you think it's in the tomb? Or we know it's in it. I can't remember. Oh, is this like a? You okay. you know like the, the famous stuff like the the ring and the famous sword and all that stuff yeah. did not belong to your brother. It belonged to Sir Chide. Um. Okay. 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 Yeah. Do we need, what's but allegedly, he was possibly buried here as well somewhere. Oh, let's look at the last two. What's yeah. the last one? Uh, the last one just says uh, "Brandy with the Good," uh, elder brother of Sir Chide. Ah, yeah. uh, the bespectacled man with his head bowed, leaning on a staff. Yeah. Uh, How? wizard dude, do you just want to leave? Come on, Joe. No, How? I just think it's <laughs> reckless to open the tomb while the inhabitants of said tomb. Are dancing above your head. Well, how can we have them stop dancing? Chum, you got a point. Can we move this whole thing out of the room? <laughs> <laughs> you can't move the whole sarcophagus. This weighs like a thousand pounds. Okay. It's like right. solid stone. Just making sure. I got some rope. Hold on. If we can get like a hot <laughs> <tower. laughs> A magical Just ring will be out. stronger. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I want to look at the ooze. What's going? Do I see like where it's coming, or do I just see? Is there it's just dripping down from the center. The ceiling looks like it's um, it was stone, but it's like broken in parts. You can see like black earth yeah. um above it, and there's just some sort of ooze dripping is down there, from there. Can I safely look down the crack? Do I see? Is there? Is yeah, there you, a can, bottom? you can get near to the edge and just sort of look down there. Um, very strange. Uh, looking down, you catch glimpses of glimmering light below. Ooh. Which is How far weird, is it? Because you are underground. How far is it? Um, really hard to tell. It, it's definitely f- further than twenty feet. Okay. Uh, right. But like, it, the, it's not like a perfectly smooth fissure. There's like rocks and stuff yeah. in the way. You can't really see what's going on down there. What's going on? Like up here is a door. Yeah, there's another door up on the other other side. Okay. Hey, uh, heir to this place. Why don't you like tell them you're the heir, and maybe they'll like let you look around. Mm. Say yeah, greetings, that's valid. That's valid. noble that's ancestors. I am. They would. They Miller. Miller yeah. the. Mm. Miller the dwarf. Valid, the magnificent. Evidently, you all were their dwarves. Yeah. yeah, everybody was. Um. Yes. Yes. I would like to try to speak to them. Oh, that's uh, right. You're a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> you're the well, of this there's been mm. some right. intermixing. This is a man. That's fine. That's fine. Right. Yeah. It was a so. other sister, second cousin. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, like, what do you say? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> um. Oh, I, I know their name, so I would address them by their name. Okay. Um, um, what does it I say? I did write um, them down. Breg, Breg for with and Amaranda. 
Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's them, mm. and uh, it, it appears that you are enjoying uh, such a lovely evening. Is this evening? Yes, it is evening um, with the, such beautiful music. Um, uh, we are. I am the descendant of here Brigford the Wise. Uh, I have come to pay my respects, and I would like to uh, perhaps get a, a good look at my my distant relative and pay my honorable respects. Is this acceptable? They kind of float down to you, and they kind of like look down. Oh, <laughs> oh they're just okay. I thought not yeah. bowing at me, just checking. No, they're just like they're like because you're like that, tall. right? 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 Yeah. Okay. They, they look slightly skeptical if a skeleton can look skeptical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just body language. <laughs> um, they, they float back up to the ceiling again. They're dancing. Okay. They go back to what they're doing. <clears throat> You're still skeptical, Chum? You give the tomb another try. You give it another try. Yeah. You know. You hate to have to fight your dead relatives, so that's not... That is true. I mean, you've declared that you're their, their descendant, but do they believe you? Sure. Anyone could say that. Do you have any way to show it? Oh, yeah, show the deed. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I would present I would present the deed. I assume it's like a yeah, like a family tree type thing. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it has a family tree. Ancestry.com. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to float back down. Yeah, so they, they, they check it out. and like they see Oh, they the, do? Okay. Yeah, they do. They kind of look at it. They're like... Yeah, yeah. They don't have any eyeballs, but, you know. Um, they're like, their little goo from their hands is, like, dripping oh, across no. it. And they're like, uh, I'm going to, don't. Kind of look at each other, and they're like, okay. I'll give it back to you. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. As, as you take this, the scroll back, it's very weird. So they, they let go of it as it heads back to you, and it just kind of, like, floats Whoa. through the air. And then, because, like, the, yeah. And then you, they uh, haven't touched me at all. They haven't touched you, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Seem like amiable. Skeletons. You're skeptical. What 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 options would we have, Chen? Well, I, mean, I think I think it's okay to open it now. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're opening Brick Frith's. Yeah. Uh, so that's the one in the in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you go open up that one. Um, lift it up, and they are watching you, but they're not going to be doing anything. Okay. You lift up the lid and pull it aside. There is a skeleton in there. And uh, dressed in rusted mail. Oh, fantastic! Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will. I will address Brigford the Wise, um, and I will. I will uh, tell him that I've I've studied his history, and I have come across it, and I have uh, um, um, I have recognized his greatness, even though he seemed to potentially be shadowed, because he felt shadowed from his brother. Uh, and I would like to speak his praises because he never had that uh, in his lifetime. No movement. He remains extremely dead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was trying. So, so, uh, I'm not noticing. I'm sure the skeletons up in the ceiling appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Because um, yeah, they're, they're his parents, right? As is. Yeah. True. So True. yeah, they're actually yeah. my verse. They're they're mine as well. Yeah. yeah. Great, yeah. great 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 grand. Anyway. Um, sweet. Nothing in there. Nothing else in there. Nope. Skeleton. Uh, yeah, with some rusted chainmail on him. Okay. I feel like, you know, just like say something about like, you know, bringing honor to the family name. Yeah. Wanting to live. I thought he was respectful. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Do we lower someone down in the fissure now? <laughs> we have to feet a rope. <laughs> we have to see. I'm <laughs> not going in there. <laughs> the goo. Um, does the goo seem to be corrosive? Is like, is it hitting the ground and? No, Actually, it doesn't. Does it seem to be corrosive? Well, like, I'd like to go through the store right can, okay. can we at least put? The stone is, back on top. Yes. Okay. Oh, now it's you're all about respect. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. I yeah. would actually, before we do that, I would like. That is a good point. I think I would like to hold out the tip of my the 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 butt end of my javelin. Okay. And like, touch it into a drop of goo. Yeah, yeah sure. So you stick in there. It gets kind of gooey on the end. Uh, it doesn't seem to burn it or anything like that. But immediately, the weight of the spear like vanishes. And if you like let go, it just like floats there. Oh, just like, the scroll. Uh-huh. just like the scroll. So we could get the sarcophagus out of there. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So I need to write that down. Goo. He's levitating power. Did you guys cover it on, up? Yeah. Yeah. We I, in the in the dust, I wrote Scotty Pippen Matter too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing this reference, whatever this is. <laughs> Jordan was. Jordan, 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 Jordan
Scottie Pippen. He's Scottie Pippen, Pippen to Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody talks about Scottie Pippen. Like you don't even know who Scottie Pippen he's is. He's only relevant because he's I, I know who he is. When he was oh, yeah, on his yeah. own team, he was terrible. Yeah, I think he was crucial to that team. Okay. Yeah. Great. Right I believe you. Right back at the right time. <laughs> yeah. I might change my character mm. name here to Scotty Pippen. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happens if Scotty I just Pippen. like, if I give it a little, do I feel like now that it's not void by gravity, like if, if I just like touch it, does it seem to get air resistance or is it like? Yeah, it's, it's like it's in zero gravity. You just touch it and it just starts floating off in that direction. So you're saying if I throw yeah, it, it's no it will be is. more powerful because there's no air resistance. It does. There's some maybe air resistance. Oh, yeah, it's just like oh, there's, gravity's not pulling. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I just run forward Floating and forward. I just can't deal with this and try to open this door. You're scrambling over the tops of the sarcophagi. That's totally fine. Oh, uh, just like as I pass, I'm gonna like <laughs> get some more on my javelin and then rub it on my backpack. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a good move. Your backpack yeah. is now weightless. Yeah. All and the I stuff have... in your backpack is not weightless, but your backpack is weightless. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so okay, so so the stuff inside of it's still like. Why didn't you bring my pack? I'm just curious. I have a sack, mm. large sack. I'm trying to open that door. Yeah, yeah. I think oh. it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not locked. Let's see here. I don't think it's locked. So you can push that open, and you find the chamber beyond. Which one's mm -hmm. the chamber? The mm -hmm. one? Is there a way to get a little bit of this goo and keep can it with us? You can find a way to do it. I've got well, I've got a large sack. Anybody have like a did anybody bring a small sack? I have a backpack. That's weightless. I'm I'm assuming I I, I put the sack down assuming I'd need something to put all this stuff in. Is the sack different or is the I don't know. Oh, um no, I you can assume that you have like something that's holding all that stuff. Your okay. sack can be separate. Okay. I'd like to. I'd like to seeing watching his uh, his uh, musings with the goo. I'm pretty intrigued, and I'd like to <clears throat> maybe grab some in my in my sack. Sure, I want right. some goo in my sack. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's it is obviously weightless, and it's not going out of it. I cinch it up. I just I, I'm taking it with me. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. I'm also gonna put it on my. That. I want to put it on my crowbar as well. <laughs> Is your, is your crowbar in your backpack? It was like, it was on it, like attached okay. to it. Yeah. So like all, all the stuff is just like kind of covered in goo now, basically. I didn't put it on <laughs> anything that I'm going to consume. Okay, okay. So your backpack is on top of what this looks like. Your backpack has goo on it. I, was like, I, I, didn't, put, I didn't like coat it. I just like, I want to just like touch it to it and see like how much goo it took to make weight less touch. All right, okay. Jim, I got, I got the goo. Because when I got the drop on the steer, I made it float. So I felt like, yeah, I, mean, based off, I didn't need to put a ton on it to make it float. Okay. Yeah. Well, let, me, let, let me adjust that. I so, like, so yeah, good. Like, yeah, it's so good. Chum's going to be <laughs> dancing on the ceiling. Let's say maybe half of it covered in goo. Wasn't, there, oh, okay. wasn't it Mary Poppins? Okay, let's say that. So I'll, I, I like, will go ahead. You imagine they're laughing in their like, like, yes, the backpack. I'm pretty sure. And the crowbar crow will be like on a, on like a uh, latch on the outside. Okay, that's fine. But the inside is still not. John, John Clark would agree with what you're doing right now. <laughs> All right, can we go in yeah, there? Yeah, Sorry. Right. Over here. You done, chum? But no, I was right there. I was just, uh... <laughs> He's conducting... like, you're moving so fast, chum. <laughs> <laughs> you're weightless. Damn, what is that? Uh, oh, crap. Pushes the room. There's not plants. Those are actual pillars holding oh. up the ceiling, running down the center of the room. Um, you have, like, a lantern in the front, I assume. Kind of, like, pushing through and looking around in there. Yeah. With the butterfly torch in it. I won't back into that. My torch flies next to me. We shut the door. <laughs> Do you have the door spikes? <laughs> Stay in there with your goo. Uh, um, so uh, in this room, there are uh, there's these pillars, and there is uh, these are all have relief paintings or relief carvings mm -hmm. rather, mm -hmm. all around the outside of each of these pillars okay. going forward. Um, you can see that right away. At the back of the room is another set of double doors right here. Um, and you can see that there 
are chains attached to this door. Yes. And the chain's kind of going over this way and yes. kind of going over chains. this way. Yes. And we can't see what the chains go to. No, unless you walk over there. Yeah. Well, there's, that could be like yeah. a monster guarding it or something. Again. Yeah, we gotta be quiet. Okay. And these are these are hallways that <coughs> go off in yeah, the Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Mr. Invisible um, or Levitating um, Torch, you want to throw your torch down the end of a hallway and just see if we can, or down a hallway and see if we can light up the hallway? No. Okay. I could put some this rope on mine, it. This is mine. Yeah, like if we're going to do this. Yeah, I mean, this is my... Can we right. see what the relief carvings are? Yeah, let's, let's investigate. Uh, yeah, so you can go around and just yeah. walk around those and get a close look at them. And uh, let's see the best way to describe that. What you see is that they are um, battle scenes. Oh, sweet. Oh, um, there's a lot of scenes of what looks like members of the Church of the One True God, uh, human knights, uh, what looks like possibly Sir Chide in a couple of places, mm. engaged in this in scenes of ongoing holy war against fairies. Okay. I just And again, fairies don't mean like fairies. They mean like, like fairies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sneaking down here. As quietly as you can. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Can I see around the to see what these it, what translate to? Sure, yeah. If you have like a, a torch or whatever, you can like just get around I, there and you can see it. I have a torch right, right now, yeah. Uh, what you see is that there are stone statues of hounds. Really Ooh. big stone statues. They take up like a five foot square. So it's like a large stone hound. That's like a statue, frozen in place, mouth growling, and the chains are like attached to their, their necks. Like a collar? Yeah. Are the chains preventing the door from opening, potentially, or are they just affixed to the door and you could open the door with the chain on it? You want to find out? Are the hinges on our side? Uh, the hinges are, yes, on our side. So they open towards us. Yeah. Oh. I'd be nervous to try that one, honestly. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go over here and just, like, look down the hallway. Yeah. Looking down that hallway, you see that it goes... And then it makes a turn. Okay. I'll do the same down here. Yeah. Symmetrical on both sides. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll, uh... You want me to go down first? I got a torch. Yeah, okay, I'm going down. All right. yeah. so I peek around. Leading the way. What you see down there is it goes forward. Uh, yeah, that far. There's a door there. Okay. Push on through it. You guys coming? Yeah, yeah, hold on. There's just an indoor. I'd like I'd like to do the same down this way. Just to, I'm assuming it's symmetrical. Yep, symmetrical on both sides. Okay. I'm fine. You just so we know. <laughs> <laughs> I say I'm gonna. Yeah, we'll go this we'll way. Go this closer way. to my yeah. arms. Yeah, I think. So. You're not yeah, going. Chum, chum's just staying in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Try to open the door. Right. That door also opens, and you find a long room. Let's see. One, two. The door is more like right there. Whoa. Who wrote this, by the way? Gavin Norman, same guy who actually Re recently, or uh... yeah, last couple of years, <laughs> two years ago maybe. It's like a large room like this, and this room has statues in it. Mm -hmm. There is a statue on each of these circles. It's a lot of statues. This is a weird place. Just a tomb. Uh, so in here, um, statues of footmen. So made up of dark stone, finely carved. Uh, they're all holding real weapons in their hands. Mm -hmm. um, looking around the room just from the entrance, I guess you'll be able to see this first. Yeah, they're all holding different weapons in their hands. And their weapons look like they're steel. They're not stone. Are okay. they... Okay. Are they uh, well preserved? Yeah. What, what kind of statues are they? Are they, are they men? Are yeah, they they're, men. Okay. they're men. They're men. They're human foot soldiers, basically. They're, they're men uh, at arms. I have a sword. I want to look to see if any of these weapons are things I might prefer to have. <laughs> um, you'd have to get closer. You can't really see it from oh. over there at the entrance. All right. I'm coming up. Okay. Uh, making a survey of the room, um, they find a flanged mace uh, which uh, with a spiraling hilt, a morning star Ooh. with nice two inch long spikes all around it, um, a battle axe engraved with a horse's head. Ooh, cool. uh, there's a war hammer with a head shaped like a boar. It's like you're hitting someone with a boar head. Um, there's a long sword with wavy blood grooves going down it, um, a halberd, and a spear. I don't know what a halberd is. Yeah, a halberd is like a spear with an oh, axe attached. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to search this room. Yes. Yeah. So looking around the room, 
Um, besides all of those weapons, you also notice that this wall over here is covered in this like yellow mold. Uh, there's really gross stuff. It's really damp on that side of the room. It's probably up against the um, interior wall of the mound. And there's like a lot of mold there, a lot of the, yeah, yellow gross stuff covering that wall. Um, partially behind the mold, you can see that there's something on the wall. Something colorful. Scrape the mold off, I think. Yeah, I, think we, I think scraping. we scraped the mold off. Yeah. Put my gloves on. Do you, you want to put it's some of your vivid, ooze on it? It's, <laughs> a, it's a vivid yellow and purple fuzz just all over the wall. You're... I don't know. And get up and close and personal with that. You, I want to use my dagger to scrape it off. To dull your dagger. It's fine. It's just a sidearm. <laughs> I'll use one of my crossbow bullets. So he, that's fine. So that's, uh, that's you right here? No, I'm... Uh, this guy? Yeah. He's getting up close. He's getting close to it. He's going to scrape it with his dagger. What's everyone else doing? I'm, I'm, I'm watching. watching. I'm, I'm yeah. watching. <laughs> I am in the doorway. Uh, Back in the doorway. Clear. It's just mold. Asbestos. Um, as you scrape away with it, a lot of it just, just collapses off the wall in like sheets and hits the floor and releases spores and stuff into the air. Um, everyone within 10 feet, so that's you two, um, both make a save versus poison. Yeah, that's your top one. So what you want, that's your target number. You want to roll that or... Uh, are we doing D20 or 3 6? Huh? D20 or... D20. D20. Oh, okay, that's D20. better. That's better. Yeah. What's yours, Dave? Mine's 12. 20, bam! I save everybody in there. 19. Wow. So you, it is awful. You just like you can just feel this disgusting stuff like coating like your mouth. You manage to like spit it out. Yes. And it's like all over your clothes. It's That's disgusting. Um, but you suffer no other ill effects. <laughs> can we see what's behind it now? Uh, yeah, you, so you can scrape it off a little bit more. You got most of it off. <laughs> <laughs> you got most of it off. Um, behind it, you do see, it's another a battle mural of St. Chide on horseback. Um, his right hand, um, his right hand is raised up in the air, and there are two hunting hounds at his side, oh. on either side of him. There was a fairy army arrayed against him. Um, in his hand, you see that there was a long sword with wavy blood grooves in it. The one that he's held up in the air. It's kind of surrounded by a white glow that the artist has painted on it. The, you're saying... One of the swords in this room. Yeah. Chai had the sword. The the sword that he is holding up on the mural looks yeah. exactly like the one that's. It's that's probably not the same one, but it could be a, of a similar design. Yeah. Yeah. It could be the same one. It could be. Could be. Well, I'd grab it. Yeah, I was gonna say if I can, if, I'm gonna try to free it from that statue, that specific one. Absolutely. Sure. Oh, wait, so who's grabbing the sword from the thing? I, I'm going to see. I'm not yet trying to force it, but okay. yeah, I'm going to... And I, do, I go 11 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> you like measure it out? Like, <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, you're getting close to it. Um, you're just trying to see if it comes out of the yeah, hand. If it's, if it's easy to... It, it, it's like the hand is like this, and it's uh, been slotted into it. Uh, yeah. So you could just like pull it straight out. It's yeah. like a Lego hand. Yep, yep. I'm going to I'm gonna try to like shift it and... I'm gonna start loose. playing with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's loose. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make me commit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out real quick. Yeah, you're fine. Sweet. Yeah. You have this wavy sword with wavy blood oh, grooves going down the side of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are a wizard. Mm -hmm. um, I am. You are a wizard. Mm -hmm. um, in his in once he has it in his hand, you can see a faint glow around it. Oh. And it will mean oh boy. That's what he can see. Come here. <laughs> Let me see that. Yeah. Can I tell any? As, as I get closer to inspect it, do I see yeah. anything else? That's all that you're able to see. Okay. But they're like, there's something going on with this sword. This is not a normal sword. Mm. Can is there are any runes on it or? There is not. Okay. Just no. maybe. Blood Blood what if I reach over and grab? Well, it's probably glowing because I am the true heir of this sword. Mm -hmm. From the oh. Disney movie, right, yeah, right. sort of the song. <laughs> <laughs> it was glowing in the mural. Hey, how about you like go grab that Warhammer that looks like a boar's head? See if that's also in... glows. Yeah. <laughs> Making him grab all. Think about when Indiana yeah. Jones: The Last Crusade. You drink from because you're the rightful heir. You die. Um, I, I, 
this mural like tells me that this sword is important. If Chum, if you want it, you can convince somebody else to get it. I've got the sword that I want. That's true. Do we need? Yeah. Do we need to try with all the other weapons that that, that could trigger a it's trap? Just, it's just weapons holding statues, guys. Uh, we we saw the mural told us this one's important. These other ones. Are I I go I I just I just go grab the I go grab the battle okay. the battle axe the the one with the boar's head. I just grab it. Yeah. Well, the hammer just comes right out. Yeah. The hammer. Is it doing anything? Nope. No, it's not glowing. No. It's a nice weapon though. It's very cool. I don't, have, cool. I don't have room for it. You can like name it and then like smite people with it. I just yeah. put it back. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, do you? No. Uh, uh, so you were actually by the mural. The one other thing that you see by the mural when you were there is that um, one of the hounds, the one that's like closer to the camera, so to speak. Um, you can see that his collar and you can see his name written on the collar. Um, it's really it's, oh, so just for one of the hounds, the one that's closer. The other one's like behind Sir Chai. You can't really what, see what's it. the hound's name? The hound's name is uh, Chater. C H E D R. Cheddar. Like cheddar. Yeah. You can call him cheddar. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure you won't mind. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. You guys want to. Are these stoned hounds going to be good? I'm just asking. Okay, let's keep going. Keep going down this All right, road. did you say they're going to be good? I think we're going to. I think it's going to like rub I, good. I have a sense saying. of direction, so I'm anticipating we can just come around this way. Yeah. Um, That's fine. I hope, uh, there's no door, though, is there? The there was no door there. Okay, yeah, what do we All got? Right. So you just peer ahead with your lantern. You can see that it goes straight ahead, and you can see that there is a uh, open circular room in this area over here. Kind of like that. Okay. Uh, okay. And then I. I'm, you guys coming? Yeah, yeah I'm gingerly. Okay. Were there any other well-decorated weapons in that room? Yeah, the, all the weapons are pretty cool in one way or another. Anything uh, as cool as the boar's head. There's hammer. the boar's head that hammer. Cool. That battle axe sounded cool. But oh, I already have a battle yeah. axe. So with there's, the, a, there's a battle axe yeah. with something on it. There's a engraved with a horse's head, horse's head on the side of the battle axe. Oh, yeah, but I can't carry anything else. What if I put it in my... So can am I, I only I limited to, to this? Get rid of something. Hmm? Like, how do I loot stuff if I can only carry eight items? Do I have to ditch some of this? You have to drop something. You're a frail old wizard. It's true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, pass the wine around. What if it's hmm. floating? Um, if it's zero gravity, it doesn't count. I'll just say that. <laughs> I will take the axe. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my wine and pass it around because I'm, I'm celebrating that we've got this excellent sword. sword. That's a good idea. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, okay. I'll we'll drink take with, with you. me. No, I have some more wine. No, oh, you'll, you'll, you're, you're drinking the wine. I'm not drinking wine. I'll yeah. drink one of my containers. Okay, I'll finish it. I'm well, no, it. no, I won't. That's improved. I want the okay. big sword. Uh, what, you, what was on the axe? Um, there was a horse's head engraved on the side of it. Okay. Carry on. You guys are passing around the wine, um, I guess, back over here. Yeah. And something appears in the middle of the room. Ooh, Ooh what is it? Um, there is a vision, like it's like, a, it's clearly not there. It's like a ghostly vision of this beautiful woman oh, appears okay. ahead of you, like right in, in this room. Mm -hmm. uh, dressed all in white, there's a star upon her brow. Um, she's, and she's saying, the ring, the ring holds the key. My eternal salvation. And then she just disintegrates in the mist. The ring holds the key. All right, I searched the room. Walking into here, well, I'll just describe what you see first. Um, obvious stuff is, yeah, sure enough, it's, I'm certainly going to connect back to there. Um, there is a passageway going this way, diagonally. Oh, As you walk around, you can see that there are stairs going downward that way. Um, also, is obvious to everyone, as you walk in, there's light coming up from down there. Oh, like the fissure, yeah. It looks like the the light looks like the way that uh, light looks like when it reflects off of water. Yeah. Like it kind of like ripples okay. and like a diffraction. It's, it's all around the, the sides of this. this. This whole passageway has like an archway over it. Okay. And like looking down, you can see that the archway is like carved out of stone, but it looks like vines and trees going downward into the ground. The carving work looks very different than what you've seen in the rest of this tomb. Oh, uh, could it's very ornate. Specific? Okay. Yeah, it's just very ornate and like it's like uh, 
the art style of like you know the elves in Rivendell where everything's like oh, yeah, flowing yeah, yeah. leaves and vines, but it's all done in stone and it's on the passage. Does it? Down. Would it seem like the Druun? It looks very different than that. Okay. They're definitely more into like dolmens and brutalism. Okay. I don't know want to explore that first. Wait, the druids are? Yeah, the druids are definitely more like primitivist. Okay. Because this looks like very refined work. Okay. Do you think it is completely um, also, symmetrical and there's like another... As you walk in, you're able to see that there is... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. There is a stone plinth. With nothing on it. Yeah. But then right behind it, hanging on the wall, is a mirror. Facing diagonally right across towards that. So that's what you see as you as you peer into the room. Okay. Oh, come on. Let's go in. Yeah. Are you going in the room? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you, what are you checking out? Oh, yeah, out? sorry. You guys yeah, yeah, yourselves. I'm going in. All right, I'm assuming you're going in. I go in. You're searching. As you walk here, you freeze. Ooh. You don't know. What, you guys can't really tell what's happening. He walks into the room, and he's just like, Stone. And he just like like in mid step, he just like stops oh, moving. Yeah. Fenrir? No. Hmm. Fairmere? Fairmere. Fairmere, are you okay? Fenrir's cool. Fairmere? Can I talk? Roll about versus it? paralysis. Uh, Make a paralysis save again. What do you got there? Oh, what is paralysis? Oh, uh, yeah, one. 14. You want to roll that? I got an 18. Ooh. So he, as you, this happened to you, so you like slow down and you can feel like something penetrating your mind that's like causing all of like your limbs to lock up. Um, but then you've managed to like force your way out of it and then you just stumble past it onto the other side of the room. Okay. I don't think we all Fairmere, what was that? that? Um, I felt like I couldn't move, but I fought it like Uncle Benny taught me. <laughs> Uncle Ben. And I got through. I'm not sure you want to do that. Should we break the mirror? Um, we could break the mirror, maybe. It's not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. What, the the plinth, Can you check out what the plinth is? I mean, you said it's it's pretty basic? Yeah, it's like a short, you know, pillar, like that tall. There's nothing on it, though. Um, now that you're over on the other side of this room, you're able to see that there are scratch marks in the ground, like something has been dragged off in that direction. Where are we Possibly from? off of the plinth. Yeah. Oh, dragged this way? Yeah, some, or, yeah, there's like scratch marks on the ground leading either to or from the plinth. It's hard to tell. Yeah. I could shoot the mirror at the crossbow bolt. I don't know. Or we could just go around. Um, we could geez, do... the mirror protecting us by any chance from something bad? Hmm. You think the, it's not the mirror that caused the paralysis? No, no, maybe the mirror would also <laughs> paralyze something, something there. bad from coming up the... Right. But why would they build ornate things there? And what was it? Do you think that was the deer that was brought off and was dragged? Hmm. No. I think there was something on the plinth. That... A deer one. Well, like scratch marks in the stone? Oh, no, on the deer, stone. Deer, like, deer, 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 deer. Does one of you want to try to cross it. there with your eyes closed and see if you can make it through? With the eyes closed? And maybe it was the mirror. I've got pretty good saving throws. Who, me? Yeah. I've got ten. You could crawl through with your eyes closed. <laughs> crawl underneath. <laughs> the look. Um, I'd love to know what the Ar- army crawl below the mirror line. I mean, yeah. Um, All are, right. are we trying to I, this before you go? I, I'm going down here and watching these dragging things. Okay. Yeah, the, the scratches kind of go back this way into this room. And now that you're going back this way, you can kind of tell that they, they fade out a bit, but they kind of head towards... Well, do towards I that. feel like these... I mean, we cleared off that room. Are these new? Yeah. No, th- these have been there for a while. They're very faint by the time yeah. we do. Okay. Yeah. Like this, the, the ground scratched. Yeah, the scratches in the ground, basically. Uh, like, like we... a heavy object was like dragged clearly out from there and probably up the steps at guess, some point. In the do you past. guys feel like we we should be going down deeper? Well, I think we should figure out the rest of the place first before we yeah. go down. So let's go around. Let's not yeah. cross the mirror. You want to head back this way? Yeah. Let's. You want to go check out this? We can meet right here. Yeah, you want to go back through yeah. the skeleton dancing room? Yeah, that sounds really fun. Um, <laughs> sure. You can get some goo. Are they still dancing? Still going at it, yeah. They're having fun. I'm, I'm almost nervous to go back through there with this sword. Did you walk over this and get doused in goo? No, I don't. I stay away from that. I walk around. I stay okay. away from the dude. All right, you're back into that room? Let's go down the other hallway, yeah. Head down the other way? Cool. Right. Am I going first? Yeah, yeah. I, that was just that was, I'm, I'm a little. We've we've been really saved. So like, yeah. 
Okay, what right, happens yeah. if you get go paralyzed? Ahead. I don't know. I know. Yeah. You can push me. Push me through. <laughs> I'm going to get a bad roll just to get it out of my system. <laughs> yeah, there's an 8, a 9. Good, 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 good. You've got an 18, a 19, and a 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a natural 20 already. So it's uh, kind of symmetrical room on the other side, but there is... There's a passageway going south over here. No door in there. And what this room looks like... Uh, it's clearly a chapel. There are pews mm. over throughout the center, yeah. like so. Someone was using it as a chapel. It looks like architecture from the Church of the One True God. Okay. Where's the which side is the altar on? Uh, you are. It's on this side it's of the room. We're coming out of the sacristy. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, there is one true religion doesn't recognize. Right that. Now, now, do they celebrate their services ad orientem or? <laughs> it's all ad orientem. Oh, okay. Okay. No, okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there's a stone statue. There is um, getting close to it. You can see whoever's in front. There's a little statue of uh, Saint Sedge, who is a holy crusader, and he's uh, holding a uh, thick red candle aloft. Little statue. He's holding this, this red candle. Um, it's dried wax is kind of dripped all over him. Uh, there's a velvet cloth on the table. It's disintegrating. Um, and there is uh, decaying pews. You've got a nice big tapestry Ooh. over there. Fancy tapestry. Can we tell what it's of? Um, so getting close to it, if you walk over there, it is uh, Sir Chide again. Oh, I he, thought is, it was he is shaking hands, or he's embracing uh, Saint Sedge in heaven. Oh, wow. yeah. Who is Saint Sedge? Saint Sedge is a uh, saint, also a like crusader-type character um, from this setting. There's like, a little statue of him on the table. Predating Sir Chide by... Yeah, predating Sir Chide's time period. Maybe like a thousand years ago. Okay, okay. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I mean, search for anything else I can find in the room. Uh, okay. Searching around. Looking around. Um, the uh, tapestry is rotting and it feels like it's about to come off. Ooh. Right. We played this game. It's just only a tap. It's just attached near the top. I'm 11 feet away from this. <laughs> <laughs> it does not look dangerous. It just sure. looks old. Yeah, like can't um, roll it up and take it for trade. But it does look like a historical artifact. Yeah. Like a historian or a an antiquarian would probably have a field day with it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just try to roll it up, put it in your I, sack. I feel like we could take this on the way out as well, I think. Okay. Yeah, right. Roll up can I can room. I real real uh carefully peek behind it, make sure there's nothing no like secrets sure. behind there. There's a secret door behind it. There oh. is? Yeah. Oh sweet, see. See, there's a door right over there. See, okay, um, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and carefully remove it. I'd like to very carefully roll it up, make sure everything's preserved. Okay. Kind of lay Got it over it. on the side because I'm coming back for this. On okay, the way out. okay. <laughs> yep, and there is a, there's a door right there. Yeah, I'd like to. I mean, yeah, we have yeah, to. Yeah. You don't need let's, closure from the rest of the room. Let's go ahead. Um, that door, it's a wooden door. It's been underground for a long time. It's swollen with damp. Good. You're gonna push on it. It's like. Soul. It's stuck into the door frame. Yeah, it is. What are you gonna do? I would like um <sighs> Gooey crowbar? Gooey crowbar. Crowbar. <laughs> sure. I'm, yeah, I'll take the crowbar. I'll start I'll start hitting it. I mean I've got my hammer as well. I, I yeah, I'll start I'll start going ahead and trying to give it some more umph. Whether it's hammer, whether it's crowbar, yeah. I'm I feel like a it. hammer if it's moving in, you wanna force it. Crowbar's probably towards Yeah, you can tell there's no hinges on your side, so this is supposed to swing inwards. Yeah, yeah. So, the room. so, hammer? Yeah, I'll hammer it. Just like hitting it like near the door frame? Yeah. Wham! Wham! Yeah, so this is going to take a while. He's hammering at the door. It's moving a little bit. Is anyone else doing anything else while this is happening? Uh, I'll just be kind of like... Supporting. <laughs> yeah, I'll just be kind of watching. <laughs> Sitting in a pew. Behind us. I no, guess no one's helping I'm going work. over here what do I yeah. see? Is this pretty open? Like this Actually, doorway yeah. is pretty open. You're doing that. Okay. It's like a, you know, it's like that door over there. Okay. I might if it's if it's still just moving slowly. I might take my battle axe and take a couple swings just to see how thick it's it is. Very noisy. It is. Yeah. Mm. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing down here. That's that thing that dragged. The... Just nice skeleton. Oh, and there's no like lock or anything, by the way. 
Uh, there's no, it doesn't appear to be locked. No. But like there's, there's no, like there's like handle, okay, but there's no lock. Okay, on. okay, okay. Yeah. It's yeah, it's just swollen. You're right. As you're slamming your hammer into the into the door frame. It's like wham. It's like slowly like inching its way in. Uh, right above your head, where there's like stone ceilings, but like it's again, it's kind of crumbling. There's like you can see some earth there, and some of the earth just starts like falling down. Yeah. From the top okay. Of the all right. All right. I get it. I get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause. And two things burst through the ceiling and land on top of you. <laughs> Ooh. They're about the size of a human leg. They're like a giant tongue with teeth oh, at the end. No. And they come worming their way down through the ceiling <laughs> and just like drop right on top of you. Um, what is everyone else doing as this occurs? Ah! You, just, you, just, you just scream or something, right? Yeah, oh, definitely. So I definitely turn around. Come back, come back. I, I definitely am like, I'm, I'm going back into the room and trying to shake these things off. Okay, you're stumbling around. Um... They are going to go first because they have the drop on you. Sure. Yeah, they do. Um, we do not have to roll for initiative. Um, initiative is one side goes, then the other side goes. Okay. It's just like that. Uh, so they are just trying to gnaw on you and uh, get into your delicious neck meat. Well, I've, I've got chain mail, so. Yeah, it doesn't cover your neck, though. Chain mail doesn't? It landed on top of you. Right. So, yeah, it does that whole thing over your head. Do you have a quaff? Did you get a quaff? I didn't coif? see quaff. How, how do you say I think that? It's coif. Coif. It wasn't on the equipment list. It was not. So what is your armor class? Um, fourteen. Fourteen. Are these things good at biting? Let us find out. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Tom's was the teens. Fourteen. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be looking. Um, they both miss catastrophically. Ooh, yes. um, I guess you did have a coif on. Yes. As they're trying to like chew through the chain mail. Yeah. Um, but they are like wrapping themselves like around their arms and they're like attached to his back basically. Mm, uh, everyone else can now go. What are you going to do? Someone to hack at him? They don't seem yeah, very I'm strong. I'm taking my, my, uh, I have a, a small dagger. You want to aim for dagger. his neck with your battle axe? <laughs> <laughs> I have a silver dagger. I take that out and oh, start okay. going at as much as I can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Deckers one d four. So you're gonna yeah you're gonna roll a d twenty uh, to try and hit them. Okay. Uh, their armor is going to be let's see nineteen ninety seven. Armor class is twelve, uh, so not too hard to hit. But you are gonna take a minus four because you they're like yeah yeah you yeah. can barely see what's going on. Sure. But so with the silver dagger it's d four so I'm rolling d four and a d twenty at the same time is what we're doing. Sure yeah. Yeah okay so twelve and one so twelve you said it was fourteen. Yes. Oh, no, the armor class is... Um, oh, minus so 14. It's going to be 12. You, you get a 12 to hit them. We have minus 4, right? Yeah, you have a minus 4 to try and hit them. So that's not high enough. Yep, okay. So I, I miss. Other people can go, though. Somebody okay. I, I, I got my sword out, and I'm just going to... I mean, without... I'm, I'm a fighter, so I got like skills. Slice the one on his arm. I'm right trying to just cut one of them in half without, you know... And, Maybe actually more of a thrust so that yeah, I don't. A I don't thrust, hurt. I think, would be yeah. more effective. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to thrust Scrape it off. Yeah. Um, and I got a sword. Uh, you, yeah, go ahead and roll for that. You don't get a minus because you have a. a I just roll a, a real roll a d20. I think the sword's a d8. Oof. Terrible roll. You miss entirely. <laughs> you do, don't behead him, though, so that's great. So I get a plus two, <laughs> and that's a seven. Yeah, Is that what that means? Yeah, okay, yeah. I still missed. I know. You get a 12 and get them. I'm going to try a similar attack with my sword, yeah. Chum, are you going to help? 16. Great. What? Uh, how much damage does your sword do? Is it like a d6? It's a d8. D8, right? Okay, 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 five. Yep, you split that thing in, in half, Gosh. just like lengthwise. It just like goes flying. Way to go, river! Gore and viscera as it just collapses on the ground. The other one is totally undeterred by this. Uh, it's chewing away. No soul. Chum. Attempting to chew Chum. away. Chum! Chum! <laughs> You're I just, roll a like, three and I poke it and it's just kind of like oh. two rub some goo on one. it. Just total. Go up that okay. tongue. Um, half of them have, have died, so we're gonna roll for morale to see if their morale breaks. I don't know. They seem undeterred. They're they're not very smart. Yeah. I assume we all moved up around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, barely. Yeah. I, uh, they're, they're, that one's morale breaks. I guess it was covered in its friend's goo. It flops off of you and it's try and goes. Uh, it's unlike the. The corner of the room, and it starts flopping along the room towards this corner really quickly. Not my canvas. And I, I whack at it with my. Okay. Yeah. I go ahead and try to relax. Yeah. I'll give you a last hit before it tries to scurry into like a hole somewhere. Um. D8. Fifteen and three. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Okay. How do you get an extra thing to roll? 
He's just rolling for damage. With he has damage on his attack. Oh, attack. Okay. I saw him do it. Oh, oh yeah, that's time. right. So he's he so did. slick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, so try, I'm trying to roll it. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, you just like splat it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any desiccants here? Like, can we dry this door out? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> the door is pretty much open now. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up. I'm going to let somebody else do it. <laughs> I'm coming through. <laughs> Burn me out! Cleaning off all the goo from the chain also, mill. I just, during the fight, I just let the torch go so it like hovers next to me. Oh, nice. <laughs> I can... You're just blowing it. Is that important? Ooh, could you have yeah. used the torch as a, as a weapon on it? Could you have. Maybe. Yeah, that's I figured that shit. would be more dangerous to you than Probably. like just. Okay, I'm just curious. For you future. Your just light him on fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That always takes care of it. Um, yeah, so pushing through into this room, you can see that it's. Well, it was clearly the uh, priest's quarters. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Ah. He liked hiding behind a secret he door, lived apparently. He there? That's Some, someone was living here, at least at one point in the past. They're very devout. And so there is a room here. There is a hole in the wall um, with like some sort of like passage going up. Going uh, up? Going up. There is a, uh, looks like a desk over here okay. on that wall. I'd like to search the room. Yep, I'll, uh, search, I'll head for the desk. Chum wants the desk. Cool. As you're going in first, who's going in first? Oh, I did. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying, as you're going in first, because you're going first with a lantern, you're able to see that there are three more of those things over here near where this hole in the wall is. Those bad things? Yeah. Tongues. Tongue, tongue worms. Tongue oh. leech worm things. All sure. right. I pull out. I go ahead and put my... They kind of squirm away from the light a little bit, but then you can see that they're still like hanging out out there. Can I use a... Uh, I can't use a bow and a torch at the same time? No. If you had a floating torch. Your floating <laughs> torch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, does anybody else have a bow? I have a crossbow. I have a javelin. It's a floating, and a floating. Floating javelin. Floating thing. javelin and yeah. a floating. I was like, guys, yeah. you just want to go attack it with me? Sure. And so we From just. Distance. No, I'm ready to just charge him. Okay. Well, you have a lot of armor, don't you? You guys want to charge him? Sure. Anybody else want to charge him with me? It's three. I of will support you. <laughs> That's fine. Is, it, is this Chum or is this... That's no, me. I'm River. River. I'll say that because you burst in with your lantern, then they are, like, temporarily blinded. Okay. They're, these are, like, underground creatures. I just... I just... I char... I char... I, so you I guys make get a, a surprise round. We got a cast hack at him. All right, you're charging at him. Let's go. Cool. attack, and you get a 12. Nope. Yes. Okay. Everyone else go. Just roll... Just, if you're all attacking, you can all Four, just roll. 14 and 4. Boom, you hit. Anyone else? Yeah, sure. 15 and 7. There we go. Okay. Nice. So two of them are squashed. There's one left. Uh, let's yeah. see if his morale breaks. Do I want to... I'll throw a javelin at him. Okay. You're not going to go to the desk? I'm going to do that afterwards. Uh, Floating javelin. Um, I don't know if you want to do that now. They're all like oh, they're crowded all around the way. hole. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Can I'll get someone in the back. <laughs> um... The last one also freaks out and heads up this little hole. Mm, sweet. It's, it's uphill, for, so it's clearly heading back towards the surface. He's going for mama. Can we see light, even like twilight through there? Yeah, it's only been like an hour or so, so you can see, yeah, faint light coming out from up there. Okay. It, clearly, it probably goes up to like the side of the, the hill. Okay. Mm, let's take a look at the room, then I'll go back to that yeah. desk. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Investigate. Investigating the desk. Um, getting close to the desk, decaying wood, uh, carved with little angels. Um, there is a drawer that is locked shut. Mm. And uh, that's what you see with the desk. Who else is searching? Yeah, I'll search you as well. Let's go. Cool. There are a bunch of people searching yeah, the room? Okay. Searching. That sounds good. I was at the desk. Okay. Um, over in this corner, you find there is a flagstone that is loose on the floor. Ooh. It's just like, clearly it's been like set in there, but it's yeah. not mortared in. Yeah. I'll pull it up. Yeah. Hey, who had uh, the thieves tools? I do. Yeah. You wanna, yeah. I don't know if, it, if you could. I, I'll try. Open the, the drawer. At least it's you guys rotting can, though. At least you, you guys could just, force it. Yeah, kind of. You could probably just, yeah, it's a rotting wood. You, you could when you smash it open if you want. It's just a, yeah. yeah. You, are, we, are we literally, okay. yeah. I'll smash it. I'll smash the table. But don't like destroy it. Just, just force <laughs> the Smash up the little drawer. drawer. Just kind of sure. punch yeah. the drawer with your gut sure. to the fist. Yeah. Go ahead. I do. Uh, uh, it automatically works. It's okay. rotting wood. If you just have a, a heavy object, you can just break that thing open. Uh, inside, you find a old mold covered book. Okay. Um, pages stamped together, stuck together with DM. It's practically indecipherable. Um, but inside the front cover, which is really interesting, there's like a brass sheet. 
that would be like the um, inscription of like who owns it. And there is a, uh, a pastoral poem about Sir Chide hunting mm -hmm. with his favorite dogs. And uh, in the poem, it mentions the name of his other dog. Ooh. Flager. Swiss. Oh. <laughs> Flager. How do you spell Flager? Um, F-L-A-E-G-R. Cheddar and Flager. Cheddar and Flager. I'm gonna peek, peek under the stone, see if I can pull up the, the loose flag stone. Um, you can't get your fingers under there. Do you have like a tool that you can use? Oh, I have a crowbar. Yeah, let's use that. Crowbar, crowbar. time! <laughs> crowbar. Yeah, it's crowbar. It's a floating crowbar. Right yeah, right it's a floating crowbar. <laughs> um, inside the uh, little space, you find a locked metal box. Ooh. And it's, it rattles. There's stuff in there. Mm. Come on. Do you have thieves' tools? Yeah. Okay, yeah. those. I, would like to I, try I guess okay. I don't know if we're not very effective at it, but yeah. I'm not thieves. I'll try to. You can. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can try and do it. I mean, like you don't know how to pick locks. Nope. You've like literally never learned how to do it. Nope. Is it something that we could smash? Like attempt to smash the battle axe? I don't know. Do you force? Is there a external lock? It open. There, there's like a lock on the front of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like with, with, with the crowbar, you could probably like yeah. Just bend like, that I thing put my there. dagger in there. With crowbar. Like let's just try to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that takes about ten minutes of work, but right. yes, yeah, so you managed to pry that open. And good thing you did too. Inside, you can see that the lock was there was like a little needle pointing its way out of the lock. Uh, and from once you open it, you can see that. So someone who stuck their finger in might have had a bad time. Ooh, um, no, but no. once you've opened it, you find all sorts of fun stuff. There is a silver crucifix in there, uh -huh. uh, worth about fifty gold pieces. Thank you. Um, you find a scroll of hold person. Uh. If someone reads the scroll, it literally just like freezes another. You can have that one. This is special. I'll, I'll take the. I'll take the silver. Uh, you find a prayer book uh, where a lot of the prayers are done in stamped gold leaf. Oh, that's nice. Prayer book looks like it's probably worth about five hundred. Well, okay, fine. I'll take that. And you uh, find what looks like a small loaf of bread, which strangely enough looks like it's completely fresh. I don't know if I want that. That's in the side. Yeah, yeah, you do. I'm gonna leave that. You can only guys can have that. So, yeah. if my, so if my constitution's eight, I can only carry eight things. Correct. Is that including your weapons? Yes. Okay. Choose what you're carrying. I have to drop some stuff. If, if it's a bunch of small stuff, I can like I'll say you can pack and pick and count as one item. Okay, I have two yeah. arrow quivers. Yeah. Like all, all your arrows can fit into one slot. Okay. I think that's fine because arrows don't really weigh anything. Um, Do you want the silver crucifix? Because you don't have much treasure. I have another crucifix. Oh, you have the other one. Crucifix. Crucifix. Collecting all the silver crucifixes. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll take the prayer book. No. Or do you want? It? Okay. I opened the box. <laughs> Fine. You, you can get first pick. You can have the Fair silver. Cru you can have the silver crucifix though, if you'd like. Okay. I realized that I couldn't carry the candle, so I put the candle. What else needs to be taken? I got the prayer book. There's a fresh load. You can have a lot. I want to take that fresh load. I don't want the mysteriously <laughs> sounds, sounds preserved. You guys got everything? Bread. What is it? Does it smell fresh still? It smells fresh. It's like someone just baked this. Uh, do I sense any? It looks like the kind of bread that they, the Church of the One True God used in ceremonies. Mm, I bet a good priest would be all about this. Does it, yeah. Like a miraculous loaf? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. One tree tree Does tree the has scroll a lot of count money. as a slot? Um, I'll say no. Okay. It's made of paper. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you guys want to go try to talk to the hounds? Yeah, can we just, okay. do we want to yeah, check this room yeah. real quick? Sure, that'll be real quick. <laughs> There's no traps. Uh, so you just walk down there. Again, it's symmetrical, pretty straightforward. It's another circular room over here. No mirrors. I'm checking for There mirrors. is no mirrors here. There is another plinth over here. There is a statue on that plinth. See? Yeah. Um, and then there is another passageway yeah. is there going down the like there. There's no mirror over there. There's just a statue on that little plinth that is. There it is. Uh, it's of a maiden with long flowing hair and robe with a, uh, on her brow is a star. Looks exactly like oh, the woman that you saw apparition. before. The same apparition that you saw before. Um, we got a return. Beseeching silence, like she's posed with like her finger to her lips, and she is blindfolded. There is a black cloth wrapped around her eyes. I don't know if you want to go in there. Yeah. Okay. 
her eyes. Interesting. She, what did she, she say? Physical, yeah. What did she say over there? She said, "The ring holds the key." The ring is the key to my salvation. To her eternal salvation. And again, you see this passage going down. You see like light shining off, like water reflecting, mm-hmm. like light reflecting off of water. Yeah, I'm okay not going in there. It feels like we gotta find the other one and maybe get her back over to there. If we can, I don't know. The other one was dragged out of here. Yeah, maybe. So you guys want to go talk to the hounds versus exploring the upwards passage? I feel like that just goes outside. I mean, you could. That passage is like, it's about two feet wide, and it's really gross. It's like there's a lot of like slime in there. You can like try and squirm your way up if you really want to. (sighs) Many dogs. Can we, I feel like... Do you want to go downstairs? I feel like we should... Like, I feel like we can skirt around the edge and come at the back of the statue and untie it and just, like, peek in and see what's in there. Untie what? She's got a blindfold, a literal blindfold. Yeah. Not car. Oh, I don't oh, want Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, I missed statue. That. I don't want that. I'm worried about Chum, that. if you want it, man. Well, somebody needs to watch. I'll no, do that. I'm going to sneak this I'm, I'm watching. So <laughs> what does Chesterton say about wall? I don't... About wall? Justice don't don't take down a wall unless you know I was put up there. In the first place. <laughs> I'm I'm not I I'm, that's a, in general that's a pretty good uh, principle for D and D dungeons like yeah. don't uh, poke. Stuff I don't know like you're in a I don't position. think this is gonna help us. Yeah. Let's do it. It'll He's, move the progressive here, story. Uh, yeah. What, we could go downstairs first. <laughs> can we go downstairs before you end. Yeah. I'm okay with that. If okay. we if we do this afterwards. Well, we'll see what happens. How about you walk in front of the statue first? No. Well, I'm not going to. Did you have a good saving throw? Sure, I'll go. I'll go ahead and just stand in front of the statue. All right, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Malik has the. Yeah. You guys ready to go downstairs? Also, I want to say, both of them are sight related. This one is a mirror, Mm -hmm. and this one has a blindfold. Yes. Just. I don't necessarily know what that means. This one is also petrification, which has certain uh, mythological connotations. With sight being linked with Medusa. Yeah, yes, you yeah. know the story. Um, so just thinking themes here. Okay. Oh, I just Let's close our eyes while we go down the stairs. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Are we going upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Recessing okay. down. It's a, quite a magical looking uh, passageway as all this light kind of ripples around you. You go down the stairs. I'll just sort of draw a little section over here. All that you, all that is down there is another circular room, and there is a passage going that way and a passage going that way, clearly connecting up to those two places, okay. like that. Uh, the whole bottom of this room is filled with water, so it's like a foot deep in water, okay. and there is a um, statue of that woman again in the middle of the room, um, surrounded by like this pool of water. Which way is she looking? Um, good question. She's looking up here. I think she's looking just straight forward. Blindfold? Um, do do do. Nope, no blindfold. Um, all around the room. So that, again, this is all water. The water is has tons of these uh, candles floating in them. That are lit. Lit candles. That's weird. Not only are some of them in the water, there's some of them are floating in the air. Like the room is just like filled with these candles that are just like floating. Is there goo the dripping from the ceiling? There's no goo There's in no the room. Goo. Okay. And yeah. all this light is like reflecting off of the rippling water and sending these shimmering but, patterns up the halls. And we can look up and see the, through the crack of the door? Or the no, floor? we don't see anything in the ceiling of this room. Ooh, really? So yeah. this isn't the flickering that we were seeing on Correct. the other one? Correct. Interesting. So they got. Which two. is strange because it should be right here. Right. How many steps did we go down? Does it feel like it was, you know. Yeah, it was 20 feet. Like, by your estimation, it should be like right about there. Yeah, so th- something something weird is going on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's candles floating in water. In the water and just floating in the air. So you guys are like standing on the steps looking at this strange I am, sight. I am more concerned that we can't see up to through the crack. Like that tells me something is is weird. We could see down into this thing. When we look could from above, we? but we can't see up. Could we actually? Or is it something else? We could see, like... Down? How about two of us go upstairs and, like, try to drop something into it? Oh, it's going to float. It might be kind of tricky. Not necessarily. Do you think there's too much goo for it to fall? Yeah. 
I have a I have a ten foot pole. I might want to I want to stick it into the water. <laughs> Who's it? You're an elf, right? Yes. Yeah. So where are you in the marching order? Are you in the front? Third. I'm in third. You're in third. Okay. So you're a little bit further up the stairs. Or you want to like move to the front and like, I want to move to the front and kind of probe this ten foot pole into the water. As you get closer to the water, you get like this numinous sense of something that isn't this world hmm. pushing up against our world. That gets more intense as you get closer to the bottom of the stairs. You're the Specifically, him. Like, this is an elf sense? Yeah, the elf sense is it. Okay. It, it, was this statue up here, does it look like the other architecture, or does it look like this door, ornate doorway? Does it, did, did we sense it was the same? Uh, maybe is this no. very, very carving? I would say so, yeah. It's, it's very well, it's very beautiful carving. Um, mm-hmm. talking about like, clearly like a master sculptor. It feels is like there she... similar artwork on these? Yes, they, they're yeah. symmetrical. They look exactly the same. Okay, and this artwork looks different than this artwork. I mean, the, the statue, it's its a very different kind of thing, yes. but they but they both look like they're done in similar styles. Okay, also. okay. Sure. So I was i was wondering if this looked like fairy architecture, this looked like, like human. Um, I, I, this looks more like human architecture, I would say. Does yeah. this look... It looks more like fairy architecture. Okay. What about, what about, what about this, this guy? Same, same thing in the... Well, the statue, again, looks exactly like the statue. So it's human. Okay. Yeah. So she looks... I feel like there's something like... She looks down, sees her, and then like the vision passes. I don't know. There's a mirror. There was something on that pedestal up there. Is it? it was oh. Just dragged away. And out. We didn't see anything. Do we? Was course. it something on she the pedestal? That got, or was it someone who got paralyzed that got dragged away? We don't. We don't know. Well, it scraped the floor. Yeah. I think something happened. So it was something mirror, like a. I, yeah. Did the mirror look like it had been there a long time? The mirror looked very old, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it didn't look like, like very it. dusty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The statue came to life and dragged itself out. <laughs> That's a possibility. I'm just saying. Somebody opened it up. It killed the person. You want to just like drag the person out. Reach out. I still want to see like I'll put my pole into the water to see if anything happens. Like if anything about the water is strange. Or... No, like the, the water is kind of like ripples. When okay, it doesn't it. disintegrate my pole. Somebody could just walk into there and see what happens. <laughs> Somebody could. <laughs> Somebody could. <laughs> Definitely not. We go we'll see the hounds. Yeah, I'd rather see the hounds. All right, that's fine. But I'm. I mean, that's my thing. I want to see feeling... what other people thought. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just. Did yeah. he know that it was the fairy world, just other world? Yeah, he feels like another place that isn't our world is like pushing up against our world mm. really intensely right here. And there you go. There's the key. You get the you get the ring. And there's the key. Opens oh, the key to fa- oh, the fairy oh. world. Hold on. We don't necessarily want to help her, by the way. No? You don't know anything about her. Yeah, yeah so here's the thing. Let, let's think about this. Okay. She did say the ring would be her eternal salvation. Yeah. But there's a statue of her in the fairy world. Do you think she is a fairy? Somehow trapped. In the fairy world? She's we're trapped in our her. world as stone. But she eternal is. salvationism isn't necessarily like a fairy context. But the... The ring supposedly is is a potentially the key uh, to the fairy world as well, is what we know. True. So my thought is this potentially is like the gateway into the fairy world that's trying need, to get you need into. The ring to get in. And so the whole this is a whole this whole area is uh, Sir Chide. He has oh. trapped this fairy world, this doorway, and has shut it right here. Right and and use these statues, whatever, to okay. secure it. Hmm. What can what is the statue other than a maiden? Do mm-hmm. we get any? Is it a human woman? Does she look? It's really hard to tell. I mean, fairies look like people. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. They don't have like pointy ears. Okay. Yeah. What you were saying that. that this looked more human architecture and this looked fairy. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like we should go up and then we should check. You want to see if something wanna, falls I wanna, down? I want to take the okay. blindfold off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to go back into the, the pew room when he does that. Back way, way okay. up. Have you thought of your next character you want? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, do you want to try dropping something down? You want to stay down there and I'll go try to drop something down? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll stand at the top and then when like I'll just be like right here and then when you say you're ready... I'll just like I'll just stand at the bottom and watch. Yeah. So I'll I'll go up. I'm going back to this uh, area, okay. trying to avoid getting goo. Yep. Um, I take 
Just let it throw. Is, I'm sure there's stone there, around. Yeah, just is there a, a small in. stone that I can I can sure. find a rock? Sure. And uh, I I throw it down into the. Into yeah, the you drop it and it kind of bunk bunk kind of bounces off the walls and then it disappears. Do we Do see we anything hear? down here? You see we, nothing down there. And we, mm. and we don't hear any. We don't hear it. You don't hear water. It, you don't hear it hit a bottom. It just keeps mm. going. Yeah, interesting. And then again, like there's like some sort of like shimmering light, but it's not the kind of shimmering light that's like water reflecting off of it. It's yeah. some, something else. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. That's All right. Weird. To the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. Cheddar okay flagger. Let's let's go. We can come back to the point. Isaac, do you want it? Yeah. That's yeah, fine. Uh, well, no. Let's uh, let's. I want to open that. I do want to do that. Okay. You, you're gonna do we'll, that? We'll, go yeah. to, we'll go to the pew. I'm gonna go to the yeah, pew room. I'm over here. I'd like to come almost ready to go out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I'll get on this side. I'll. Uh, can I fit behind? Uh, sure. Actually, sure. it doesn't matter. Yeah, yes, I'll go right where, you, where she's not looking at you. Yeah, I'm definitely again. I'm behind her. That way, wherever her eyes look, I just need somebody to like be able to look at her eyes. Mm. I'm, not you, at her her eyes. Eyes? <laughs> nope. I'm not looking at her eyes. Nope. Not interested in that. Yeah. Chum is a brave soul. I'm gonna. There. You could do it. I'll I'll like untie it, but like keep it taut. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna like slowly pull it around. Wow. Nothing happens. Go make go, eye contact. Go around to the front. I'm not, I'm not making eye contact. I'm gonna come like <laughs> peripheral. Sign You're fine. Sign you anything. I'm not gonna come past about forty-five. Like this is like her eye. I'm gonna come Wait, like right this here. Nothing. This is nothing, but he's I'm just coming like right. Yeah, I think I think we're getting clues that this is nothing. Yeah. The Bible is pretty cool. Yeah, it has like little that? gold crosses on the inside Ooh, of it. Oh, yes, nice. Oh, really? Like embroidered gold crosses on the inside that was pressed up against her face. Something Chum would love. Does this seem like? Some kind of magical binding. So if I think about the symbolism on the inside of the blindfold, and it's placed over something, mm -hmm. is it basically like the power of the symbols on the, of the crosses on the blindfold are holding something at bay? Um, you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Not that skilled at magic. Good try. Okay. Are you gonna put it back on? That's a good question. I'll probably put it back on. Yeah, I will. I I will put it back on. That's what I think it is. Okay. I will put it back on. Cool. With the with the dun, dun, dun. On, on the pee break. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. Um. right. Chatter flagger. Crosses on inside a blindfold. Okay, so we're going over here. Sure. Okay. How how uh, if we do they have collars on them? They do have collars on them. Yeah. Do they have names on them? Uh, the, no, there's no names on the collars. Okay. Well, are we gonna open it up. Okay. Yeah. Wait for. Oh, wait for our party. For They're urinating down the fissure. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was that you I was talking about Earthsea with on Sunday? I don't think so. I'm talking about magic with Sunday. I see. Earthsea is great. And shape. You see my, my complete Earthsea over there? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was looking at. It's uh, all illustrated by Charles Bess. Who's that? He's this amazing illustrator. So this was like the last thing that he worked on with Ursula Gwynn before she died, like okay. last year. And like every illustration, he worked on like one at a time with her, where she like approved them one at a time and okay. would tell him like, no, the character doesn't look like that. She doesn't to look like this. Okay. So it's all like super awesome. accurate. Oh, cool. One of the few versions where all the characters are portrayed as brown or black, like okay. they are in the books. I guess I never realized that. How many of your faucets turn on with light? Oh, just that one. It's magical, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Where's the bathroom? Uh, upstairs to the right. Okay. Yep, I'll wait for Tim. Okay. He's done a lot of like comic books. Oh, okay. Like um he worked a lot with like Neil Gaiman. Oh. Some of like the Sandman comics were done by him. Yeah, okay. Cool. 
So I feel like nothing's happened so far, and it makes me nervous. We fought some tongues. You kidding me? We've, You've avoided dying several times. We've avoided poison. We've avoided paralysis. If you guys ever like failed those saving throws, that would have been bad. If you yeah. failed the saving throw, you could have been frozen. If you had like, you know, you could have tried to fight the skeletons. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. We could have fought the skeletons. I can try to fight anything. Not always a good idea. You can fight your you can family. Try. I gonna say I'm, I'm glad we didn't. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. And kill your ancestors again. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a general strategy with the dogs yet? We well, we know their names, names so we can names. tell them to heal if they wake up. Can we try so the door to us? Like, this style of D&D is much more about um, exploration and problem solving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, there's combat in there. You can fight stuff, and like, you can die. Yeah. But, like, being good at the game is mostly about solving problems and mm-hmm. investigating things. It's kind of like a an escape room. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Can you just get escape rooms? I haven't been to one personally. Really? Yeah, I, I know the concept. I feel like you'd be good at it. Yeah. yeah. Like your your mind so. trying to think about puzzles and how they work and stuff. It's just like you'd be good. At it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Would it be dumb? I'm just in the sense of uh, there are no in dumb the sense questions. Of solving crap. These dogs are going to attack us at some point or try to come at us. But I, I feel if like we, the fact we know their names is important. They're good. They're good dogs. They're good, dogs. They're good boys. But just in case, we goo them up. We get them off the floor. <laughs> that way when they wake up and they start running at us, they, they're run, I mean, there's nothing they can do. Uh-huh. They just run, right? They're, they're stuck in midair. Yeah, that could work. I just feel like the goo hasn't been effective on stone, but like to your point, I guess if they turn from stone into flesh, maybe that would yeah. take effect. We do have a sack of goo. I got my sack. Yeah. Full of goo. It looks like these doors open out. I'm wondering uh, if, yes. Yeah, yes. if opening the doors is going to animate them. Yeah, that's my thought. Probably. You're, you guys ever play a lot of like a uh, point and click adventure games? Back I, in the day? I, I have a little bit like Mist and Mist or like the Curse of Monkey Curse Island. Of Monkey. Oh, right? really? yeah. yeah, that's, that's like a classic. Yeah. So like, that's like my style of game, where it's like pick up all of the things yeah. and then figure out how to use the things on the other yeah. things to get what you want to happen. Yeah, that's like this D and D is a lot like that. Yeah, makes sense. Except you can also fight things. Okay, that's my thought. Okay, I think we goo these bad boys up. <laughs> we lift them up off the floor. And then we try to open the door. Because when they when they animate to real life, <laughs> they're going to be what running are, at what us. What are we going to do with their names, though? Oh, why don't we just try saying right now? Okay, Cheddar. Call them out. Flagger. Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's do that first. Call them out. By name. I'll let you do so. Cheddar, Flagger, we are here with your owner's ancestors. We wish well, you well. The door's open. Whoa. Oh, it was a password. It was a, it was a password. Nice. Bam. Let's Good go. Call. Okay. Good call. Carry on. Let's try it. Yep. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'll, I'll come. I'll come second. Big old door. Oh, wow. Big round room. Was it going to be locked? Like, I kind of want to know what the. You guys never even tried to open the door. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't. We were scared of those dogs. Hey, fair enough. Coming real alive. Is that a, I assume that's a sarcophagus in the Yes, there's a big sarcophagus in there. A uh, big stone coffer, um, likeness of, from the doorway, you can see that it's like a, probably likeness of a person carved into the top of it. Um, on the back, far end, there is a hanging portrait um, of the woman that we've seen before. Um, but she is, you know, clearly it's the full, it's a full painting now that's like in color. Um, and she is, in this painting, she is standing amid a stone circle. Uh-oh. An awful lot like the one from out there. Um, it's all grimed with dust. There's some big silver candlesticks in the room, and uh, there is a ghost kneeling in front of the portrait. Is this like so? Chide himself is in love with this woman, and he had a sack. Uh... Oh, man. Okay. That's what you see when you look into the room. Can so, we make anything out about the ghost? Um, his back is to you. He is. Yeah. I, would like is a male. Facing, I would like to. Looks put, like it. Looks like a knight. 
get to put the sword away and hide it. That way the, <laughs> the ghost does not see okay. that I have his sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> Um, are we, are we, I mean, we're going in, we're going to make contact. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going in. As we move in, is he, does he notice or react to us? As you move in, in, he stands and he looks at you, and he, and he immediately looks at you, Ooh. and uh, he's like, you're one of my descendants, aren't you? Yes, sir. I can see the resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> he's the like dwarf. really tall and thin. It doesn't make any sense, my but he's like, here, <laughs> so I'm like, I blush. Um, he's like semi-transparent. He's very thin. He's wearing plate mail. He has like his uh, or his visor is up, so you can yeah, see his yeah, face. Yeah. He's very like forlorn um, looking. And um, yeah, Sir Chide. Sir Chide is indeed in his eye. Are you here to help me? Yes. How can we help? Um, I need you to help me be re- reunited with my love. The 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 woman. I'm that was his sister. Oh, well, we know we're no judging here. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can judge that. Okay. Where, where, where has she been? Where has she been uh, trapped? Right here, and as far away from here as possible. I understand. <sighs> he looks back at the portrait. Her name is Snowfall at Dusk. Snowfall at Dusk. <clears throat> Eight hundred years ago. A beautiful name. We fell in love. She's the daughter of the Gold Prince. Oh. He, it's, this is a true... It's like a Romeo, Romeo and Juliet. and Juliet tale. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what, was it Snow? Snow at dusk. Snowfall at dusk. Our love was forbidden. Um, but I, on the, the final day of the battle, when I was to defeat her father, we would finally be together. Um, we defeated the, the Gold Prince's armies, but I was also slain. Um, fortunately, before um, I was slain, when we met in the forest glade, she gave me the ring. Like it is still on my finger now. Look at his, his hand. There's no, there's no ring on it. But he, he points at his sarcophagus. Yes. Like it is still on my finger now. Yes. Um, yes. The ring binds our souls together for eternity. Mm-hmm. I am dead, and she still lives in fairy. But because our souls are meant to be together, yeah. fairy is being pulled here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. The only way to be reunited is if you get my ring and take it to her. If that happens, then we can finally be reunited. Okay. You guys in? Yes. Good pride open. Sir Chide, as your descendant, I shall not fail you. Excellent! I know you wouldn't! He slaps with that, he goes right through you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go! Uh, never mind. Old, old habits. Day old hard. Habits. Um, so, are we taking the sarcophagus lid off? Yeah, get in the that ring. Would be my guess. Yes, you can lift the lid off. Uh, inside, there is, of course, a skeleton of a knight. A um, bunch of things on his wrists. There's a pair of copper bracelets engraved with owls. Uh, their eyes are amethyst. Mm. Fancy. Um, upon its finger, there's a bronze band set with a moonstone, mm. uh, with fittings in the form of woven branches. Um, yep. Three ways to. Can I tell? Looking at them, do they look magic? Do they have a magical aura? Sure, yeah. It's it's very clear that these are magical artifacts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, can I... I or mean, the, the ring is clearly magical. Take the ring. Take yeah. the ring. Yeah. I don't about bracers. Uh, you, don't, you don't detect anything with the bracers. I'd like to take the ring and just try it on, just to see how it fits. All right, as soon as you take it off his finger and put it on your own, the ghost says, good, and he vanishes. As soon as it goes off his oh. finger. He seems satisfied that you're doing the cast. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. I thought you vanished, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. was the other thing we were trying to get? There was a couple... There's a sword. sword, which you sword. I think we got the sword already, yeah. Um, you want to take the bracers? I mean... I guess he's gone now. He's not going to judge you. Yeah. I would, I'd say we finish this task and then come back and get everything. You, should get now. you can I take him down. Okay. I mean, I'd have to drop stuff. Oh, really? I'll drop some rations I can grow. I'll drink, drink some more wine. You probably don't need a whole lot of rations. You're not no. that far from the I'll, I'll, sure. I, I dump the rations and grab both. The You're not like bracers. way out in the wilderness or anything. Can I grab the bracers without? Yeah, I can get them off without. Yeah, sure, I can take them off. And I want to know how much they're worth. <laughs> Maybe you can. I estimate they're about worth a thousand gold pieces each. Oh, yeah. So well, you're welcome, guys. So how much? So do do you have everything, or there's took, more stuff? There's just two bracers. Unless we can search, you want to search again? There's more. In now there. with the ring on your finger, you get the strong. It, 
Sir Chide isn't there, yeah. but you sort of like get the impression of him okay. nearby at all times. He doesn't seem to mind at all that you're taking yeah. the brace bracers oh. off. Okay, he's, he's, way, he's way past that. Why point. are these guys floating? Uh, oh, that's because of the, the world's pushing it. Yeah. Well, but it's two different worlds. I don't know. But it's coming from above. And what's with the sacrifice thing? That all makes it creeps me out a little bit. That could be bad. Not, not, we, not everything is necessarily connected. Maybe we shouldn't okay. help this dude. Right. The world, we the world is just sort of the world. My, what else do my, we do, though? My kid? Came up. So my what did we see? We saw a picture of her. She was in, yeah. in, in the... Uh, in the center of the stone circle from outside. Uh, can we, I mean, can we investigate the, the rest of the room, check behind the, t the tapestry? We're just, sure, yeah. you can go search the room. Yeah, you don't find anything else particularly interesting. Okay. Um, just some big, tall candlesticks. Um, there are still big, tall silver candlesticks. They could be worth something if you want to pack those up, too. Maybe on our way out. Okay. But there's nothing else to take, though. He, he's got all the... I, I drop my grappling hook and grab the, the no. and, and grab the the, the candle. I can drop rations. Okay, you grab rations. Uh, I'll say I've got I've got an extra spot now, for eventually. So. Okay. Or do I need an extra spot for the ring? No, the ring can take space. Okay. See, so there are silver candlesticks. Yeah. Um, let's say there's, I think there's four four candlesticks. Okay. Uh, worth about two hundred each. Oof. I don't have the silver crucifix as a bar. Okay, <laughs> so your guys' thought. <laughs> I have the ring. Go to that that room where I think she it's said it was key. In. Around that way, yeah. Around that way or that don't way? Go, don't go this way. That was the no, analysis. Like this. Well, where where the the ghost said the, that the ring was the key. If the ghost said the ring is the key to my salvation. Yeah, but that was just her image. Yeah, she just right. I think we just, I think we just go down. And okay, right. go down to we'll the, go the, the. Let's do it. Yeah. Room. yeah. Approach. I'll go ahead. And we go left first. the. Uh, do we leave the blindfold on? Yeah. yeah of course. We yeah. <laughs> I like to go first, but with the elf right behind me, see if there's the the same like push. I think we still feel it, right? Is it stronger now? Is it no, it feels about the same as before. The elf can feel it. You can feel like there's something but right there that no one else is able to see. But the ring, I think. Go in the water. <laughs> oh, you're going in? The dwarf is going in? Um, I will I will gingerly uh, approach. Okay. You gingerly approach as you like step into the water uh, of the room. There's like this almost wave of like religious awe that passes through you. Um, as the world suddenly fades out and then snaps back into focus, and you're standing in a forest deep in the middle of winter, like in snow. Yeah. And let's yeah. draw like a sketch here. So you have, um, you're standing on like a pathway going forward. There's um, candles floating in the air around you, just like in this local area. Mm -hmm. The path goes forward, and then you can tell that it opens out into a much wider space. If you want to go forward and look at that. Okay. Can we see? Yeah, yeah. Disappear. He walks forward. He just like just gone. Oh dang. Well, I guess is it just a product of the ring? Like, are we not going to be able to follow him? We can try. You can try. I want to go. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Go ahead. Dun 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 dun. Yep. Same thing happens to you. And he appears right next to you in the forest. It's like this deep pine forest. Up ahead, as you kind of move forward, you can see that there is um, this huge clearing. And imagine, imagine it's like pine forest, just like everywhere around so, here. Mr. Tumnus. Oh, yeah. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's this gigantic uh, clearing. Um, you would guess that this is a frozen lake. That would make the most yeah, sense, because okay. like, there's no sure. trees there, and the sure. ground is perfectly flat. It's like deep in snow. There's like a foot deep she's in under, snow. She's under the ice. Uh, and in the middle, there was a tower. Yeah, because he's the cold. Person. There was like a tower, just like it was just straight up out of the middle of this lake. Interesting, interesting. Good call. Are you going? Yeah, I'm going. Culture. I'm going to stay behind and just loot all the stuff. <laughs> and go back to town. Classic chum. <laughs> Classic chum. Now I'll go. Beat me up, Scotty. So, um, there's a tower in the middle? And so I yep. turn around, like there's a way back out. Right? Um, behind you, they're like the path continues onto the forest, but there's like this patch where there's always floating candles where okay. it came through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a way out. Got it. Go to the tower. Yeah, let's let's approach. approach. You approach. You 
crunching your way over the snow. Uh, so the tower, there's like a, a section of the of the snow that's been cleared off, and uh, there's like skating marks on it, huh. where people have been like skating on part of the the frozen lake. Oh, really, um, nice. and so pleasant. Yeah. Looking around, looking up, like especially you up at the winter sky, there was a crack in the winter sky, mm. and stuff is dripping out of it. Oh. oh. Yeah. Like goo, like goo, orange, like yep. green. Is there a rock on the bottom that we, or or anything? That oh, we, yeah, that we're, 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 where the goo is dripping down. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a, there's a rock. Okay. Oh, oh like, it's your oh, rock. It's, yeah. rock. it's your rock. It's almost like the whole world that was inside that little bubble. Whole world inside the bubble. What do you mean? Like, was the crack really high up in the sky? Yeah, the crack is like I don't know. A couple hundred feet up. Oh, okay. Hard to tell, but it's just like there's like this rift up in the sky. Interesting. Oh, so we got. Is there a door to the tower? Um, so you can walk up to it. Yep. You yeah. just want to get closer yeah. and approach. Yep. That's a. Is it as small as you drew it? I mean, it's, it looks like a pretty. It's small a big tower. clearing. Right? It's a big clearing. Yeah. Okay. So this tower is, I don't know, about the width of this house. Okay. Just like, but it's really tall. It just goes straight up. Okay. Um. Interesting. That's good. As you're walking up towards um, the tower, out of the forest from over here, you can hear noises coming and. Um, Figure oh, skaters. Yeah. <laughs> Figure skaters. Yeah, that's enough. Um, a figure on a white charger comes riding out of the forest. Is it a charger or a horse? Yeah, like, like a war charger. horse. Okay, got it. It's making sure. The horse is named after It's coming right out of yeah. the forest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, someone on a white war horse in full armor comes riding out of the forest, heading for the tower. Um, really ornate armor, like there's like vine tracings all over it. Mm. There's like he has like really colorful clothing underneath it. There's like yeah. multicolored banners sure. on like this lance that he's holding, okay. and he's just like marching across the the ice towards Does the tower. Does he notice us? Yeah. Um, not immediately. He like he doesn't see you right away. What are you guys gonna do? You see him first, I would say. I'd, li I'd like to stand aside and observe if he's not coming at us yet. I'll kind of step to the side to have like a clear line of sight, but not yeah. like directly behind the party. Just okay. See what he does. Yeah, is I'd like to kind of step aside and, and watch, going. observe. Okay. Yeah, so as he's going across, he gets about this far, and then he sees that you're, like, also halfway, and you see him turn, and then he turns his horse and starts, like, cantering towards you. It's not, like, galloping. Yeah. He's, 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 he's heading your way. Okay. Not aggressively. Okay. Can we tell if this is fairy? He look. I mean, like, from the look of him, it looks like he's a fairy. Like, like the, the style of, like, the armor sure. and the horse, like, does not sure. look human. Okay. Every, every, all of his proportions seem like slightly off. Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah, I mean, to speak to him. No, like, I think we just wait yeah. till he approaches. Oh. Yeah. He, he's approaching us. Oh, Sir Fairy. Should we keep yeah. walking a little bit towards the castle or, or the tower? Well, he's, he's cantering I'm, towards I'm us. He'll be here now. I'm kind of nervous. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's a powerful dude. Let's just yeah, stand non threateningly. Yeah. yeah. He approaches you and uh, pulls up on his chargers like. Are you coming to the feast as well? Yes, we are. We would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Strange emissaries, what kingdom are you from? Um, we are from um, Dom Skyfall. Dom Dom <laughs> oh, that's good. That was good. Yeah. I like that. I've not heard of this land. Is it beyond Phrygia? It is indeed. Oh, the news travels fast that the, the feast is going to be held. Yes. Well, I will see you in the at the feasting hall. Excellent, and and I I apologize. I must introduce my my friends and I. Uh, this is Grim the Dwarf, and um, Summer the Elf, okay. and um, this is Boromir. These are all good aliases. <laughs> yeah. And I myself am Dower, the. Dane. <laughs> he like trots a little bit closer to you and like lifts up his helmet. And his eyes are like ice blue. They're like mm. bits of ice. Mm. He looks, he goes, it's a spice. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's, he paused for a second, almost in disbelief, and he's like, "You're mortals." Oh. Indeed, we have traveled from the fair lands through um, the magical 
How did you get sky. here? Deception check. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. He is. Um, he is shocked. Like it's like seeing an alien. Mm-hmm. Um, we there's there's no connection between fairy and the mortal realm. Mm-hmm. That was several severed a thousand years ago. Oh, perhaps it is not as severed as you once thought. <laughs> <laughs> like clearly we're here. <laughs> News of the feast travels far. <laughs> is the feast for snowfall or dusk, by chance? Is she attending the feast? Yes, uh, she's been holding the feast in preparation for her wedding to Sir Chide. Uh, of course, the, the feast has been ongoing for uh, 800 years. But, you know, that, that is, that is well, no Why, it's Sir, Sir Chide, why don't they get married? This is Sir Chide. <laughs> no, no, why, don't, no why, don't, why doesn't she marry Sir Chide? Well, I mean, he's in the mortal realm of Fairy. Is he alive? As, as I mentioned before, there there was no connection between the two. Is realms. Sir Chai alive? Well, I imagine so. It's only been eight hundred years. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, snowfall. Oh, See it? Where, where, how snowfall is death. snowfall's dead? He, he, he's he's like ignoring you now. He's just like muttering to himself. He's like mortals. So like <laughs> a the barrier has been breached, and he like turns around and he rides back into the forest. Galloping. He's not gonna go to the feast. Uh, okay, if he's headed into. Should we the... run into the, <coughs> to the, the, the try to find her? We, we got her okay. dad still around. You said you you are scared. No, he slew the cold prince. Well, well but he doesn't yeah. even know that this guy is. He thinks this guy is. There's just weird things. That's just because they're fairies. They think people live forever. Okay. Well, they know mortals. Fairies don't understand mortals very okay. very well. Okay. Um, we'll, uh, co- yeah, we'll continue on. We don't really I, have another I, option. Let's go to town. I don't yeah. want to go into the now warehouse. we have a better MO. Yeah. Yeah, we know what's yeah, yeah, going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah, actually getting closer to the tower, there is a door in the tower. And as you approach, it opens up. And uh, greeting you from inside the tower is a troll. This thing is like 10 feet tall, mm-hmm. yes. barely fits through the front door of this tower, and just sort of like pokes his head down. He's like, um, invitations. I have a immediate message from Sir Chai himself for... Snowfall at dusk. What is a Sir Chide? <laughs> it is Snowfall at dusk's uh, groom to be. And like the the, the 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 troll like crouches down even lower, and you can see that there's like a palanquin on his back, and there's a goblin on top of him. Oh, wow. He like pops his head through the door, and he's like, "You are not from Sir Chide. The idea is ridiculous. Invitations." I pull out the sword and it is oh. and i say it is a message from sir chai himself whoo all right you're gonna fight a troll <laughs> no i'm not fighting i'm not fighting but they recognize the sword that it is from sir chai I, it's it, i do it not in not, an aggressive yeah, way with a flourish. but just in a presenting way uh yeah as soon as you pull it out both the troll and the goblin cringe they like back away from it <clears throat> like it's um radioactive they're like, what is that? And they're just like crawling backwards into the tower away from you. Oh, no. Do we just run in? Do we? Oh, that's kind of yeah. what I'm thinking. I think we just take the advantage and, just, it, and yeah. just go to town. Uh, I mean, are you guys are you guys in? Yeah, yeah. We, just, we mean you no harm, but we would like we to see you no snowfall. Harm, but it is imperative just... that we see. And the little, the little goblin is like, close the door, close it. And the big guy's like, oh, grabs the door and like slams. Is he it trying shut. to shut it on us? Yeah. Oh, so he. I, before he does that, if if, I, if if it looks like that's what he's going to do, yeah, I am going to cast charm person. Ooh, okay. Is that on... the the one where it freezes? What does that do? Uh, I was gonna ask. Oh, we can when, just... it says, when it says humanoid. Yeah, it counts. It's close. Does yeah. a troll count, or does it? Go- I know goblin counts, but a troll count as a human. Charm or? spells usually don't work on fairies, but this is technically a troll and a goblin. Yeah, so I'm going to say not the quite troll the same. Would be good. Oh, it it doesn't work on fairies. It just says humanoids of high HD and undead. Yeah, that's fine. It'll work. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will cast it on the goblin. Not the troll. The troll's trying to. The troll is probably the one. The goblin the is the one who calls the shots. Though. But if he's already in the process of closing the door, do you think he's going to stop? He'll t- I'll, if I ask him to. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, exactly. How does the How does the spell work? Um, 
Uh, he must save versus spells or be charmed. Cool. All right, he has to make a saving throw. Okay. Um, the little guy, the little goblin, save versus spells. Okay. He fails. Okay. Wait! His eyes suddenly, like, snap up and, like, focus on Don't him. close the gate! He's, and he looks at the big guy, and he's, um... What is this big guy's name? Uh, Grimmelgridge. Open the door. And Grimmelgridge looks up and is like... Uh, <laughs> chum, good call. No! My friend... Grimmelgridge is not the brightest bull. <laughs> good call, no, chum. my friend, I... It's, it's been a long time since we mortals have come to the realm, but I appreciate your gesture of friendship in allowing us in to Snowfall at Dusk's Feast. I'll put this sword away. <laughs> so it's, it's a little, uh, I didn't realize it would have that effect, so yeah, I'm going to stir that back away. I, Griddlegrib the Goblin, welcome you. <laughs> and he kind of points inward. Thank you. Uh, your invitations are acceptable. Could you show us to the ladies' welcoming hall? Uh, of course. Of, of course, yes, this way. Uh, oh, hold on. Should we, should we close the gate? Ooh. Just because, because the guy left. Because we're here and this might be, this might be, yeah. Uh, I, I, I think this is everyone. Would you mind uh, closing closing the gate? I, I don't think there's anyone else behind Unless us. Unless we have to get out. Of course, we can't, we can't let the cold in. Mm -hmm. uh, Gr Grimlegridge, lock, lock the door. Grimlegridge closes the, the door to the tower behind you. <laughs> we, we are. <laughs> this is either going to be good or bad. This is a great idea or a terrible idea. Got it. <laughs> the goblin is Griddlegrim. The troll is Grimlegridge. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh Sorry, so those again? How long How the goblin is Griddlegrim. Grimmelgridge. Chum, how long is it? Control is what? Grimmelgridge. Grimmelgridge. Okay. For a day. Oh, full day. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Good work. All right. Control is the last one. He's like, quickly, quickly, this way. Um, Thank you. Like, follow me. Uh, I'm sure the princess is, is waiting to see you. She is. She will be uh, most interested in the news we bring. Of course. He marches you into, like, it's, it's a circular tower. So he, mar he marches you in across the, the main floor. You can see that there's, like, a roaring fire. You can smell, like, amazing stuff being cooked. There's, like, Ooh. a doorway over that one. You can, you can hear, like, chefs cooking things. Ooh. It smells incredible. You can't even figure out what the scents are. Um, you go upstairs, up this winding stairs around the, the inside of the tower, up to the second floor, and there is a feast going on. Mm -hmm. There is a huge table laid out. Mm -hmm. There are what is obviously fairy princes and knights, okay. um, just like feasting. Um, they're, they're eating, but they look, they look kind of bored. They look like they've been here for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they kind of look up at you, look, look slightly surprised when they see you. Again, they don't recognize you as mortals, mm -hmm. unless you tell them, because they're terrible at identifying mortals, mm -hmm. and they just kind of go back to eating. Um, the goblin leads you through the room and then up like a second flight of stairs up to what is clearly at the top of the tower. Okay. Um, and opens the door and is, Princess! Visitors! Opens it up. <laughs> and is the princess's chambers. And oh. it's this Ooh. huge, beautiful room at the top of the tower, and she is just standing there waiting for you. Uh, uh, Griddlegrim, would you mind just waiting right there? Thank you. Of course, of course. <laughs> I, the, the, the troll holding the goblin slowly backs down the stairs. Very slowly, <laughs> he closes the door behind himself. Just I, right there, yeah. I approach, I bow, take a knee. Uh, my lady, I bring word of what you have been waiting for. And as I do so, I reveal my hand that has the, the ring on it. Did you have the ring? You got my message. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did indeed. Yes, we are here to bring you back. 800 years is a long time, but any amount of time is enough. Oh, she reaches for it, reaches Lord. for the ring. Tears are going down yeah. my face. Yeah. Give her the ring. We need to give back. I know. <laughs> well, lady, can you help is us this... return to the mortal realm with you? Oh, yes, the way you came in should, should take oh. you back out again. Okay, okay, <laughs> good. Sweet. Yes, I give it to you. Do we want to, like... Like, ask for something, something? I think, we, I feel like we want to let her know before she discovers it, or we just, like... Let her know. That her, her like, lover's dead. I mean, 
I feel like oh, you don't, don't think she would have some concept like eight hundred years be more like she. No knows. one else here has been. But a she's mortal, been. right? Or no, no she, she's, she's a, fairy. She's, she's fairy. fairy. She's familiar. Um, um, can't get engaged to a guy and not know he's gonna die. Um, I feel like I feel like. Oh well, if he's if she's looking for someone <laughs> of similar <laughs> of similar stature. Um, How she feel about it? Lady Snowfall. Um, yeah. I know yeah, that yeah. here time flows not as it does in the mortal world. But I, I must warn you that it's been 800 years. And for us, that is... Uh, she says, yes, I'm aware. Takes the ring, puts it on her finger. The, he immediately materializes in, in, oh. in the room. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, and Burn so it. that's a life that's many candles of... Uh, <laughs> Materializes, he's... Vroom, they lock eyes. Kiss! Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. It's oh. kind of awkward. There's, there's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, family members kissing, it's always kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's true, it's true. <laughs> um, well, I, uh, I see we've done our part, so... Uh, if you'll just excuse us, we'll just uh, go down to the. Um, thank you, thank you. Whoa, uh, feel feel free, feel free to take any of this stuff. Oh, you yeah. don't really need it. Um, what do we see over there? Uh, we're gonna take a little vacation. I mean, just sort of it's honeymoon. Okay. Honeymoon time, maybe. What do we yeah. see in there? Anything yeah. worth taking? Oh yeah. Um, her room. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. What she got in there? Um, dressing table uh, with some drawers. <laughs> Jewelry boxes. Jewelry, jewelry boxes. boxes. Yeah. There's a Easy. big wardrobe. Easy. Um, yeah, that's just the main stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, jewelry boxes. Let's check that out. I'll, I'll search the room. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, searching the room, there is, yeah, going through those jewelry boxes, that's like the main thing there. Um, there is 30 ice jewels in there. Yeah. Uh, about 200 each. Yep. Just want to take seven uh, of those, split those up. 12 necklaces of fairy silver. Dude. 150 each. And a sapphire set into a platinum brooch wrought like a wrought like hoarfrost worth about a thousand. Yeah, we'll take it all. We we're dropping stuff to take it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, I mean do we need to do we need to do all this or are we just saying we're taking it all? You can just take everything. It's pretty yeah. Yeah. She's like, I would grant you my kingdom, but oh, I don't have much of one she anymore. Gave us a lot of money. Yeah. 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 My father has imprisoned me here ever since I fell in love with Sir Chide. Oh, um, yes. I still He's cannot dead. leave. He's not I, dead. Like, I still the guy's going to get him. I still, I still cannot leave um, due to like, my father's curse, but at least I am with my betrothed again. How are we getting out of here? The, the way out. Was your dad going to stop us? Well, I, he doesn't know that. The, uh, the mortal world is connected with fairy. Again. Oh, <laughs> if, he knew uh, that, if he knew that, he would invade Dolmenwood. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> how do we show that again? We don't know about the night. The night could have been. There was no. a night outside. Intricate armor. Oh, yes. Colorful. He's from my father. He checks up on me every once in a while. Ah, he, he ran into us when we were approaching. Yeah. He recognized and, uh, our mortals. Yeah, he, he recognized Probably us. Probably letting and... Pops know. <laughs> right how about now. get out of this? How, how far of a ride is that for him? Yeah, should we... Tell you what. It's, we... it's about two and a half kingdoms. Okay, so we got some time. Let's get I out mean, of here. Tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we how should... can we close the connection between the worlds? Um, I don't know. Hmm. You don't have to have the ring. Who made the... Okay. Ho hopefully now that... I mean, like, the, the ring in, the, in his tomb was pulling our world towards the human world. Ah. Uh. Um, because the ring bound our souls together, and so it pulled the worlds along with them. Now that the ring is here, perhaps, perhaps they will drift apart again. Okay. One so, can hope. So we, well, so we should probably hurry. We should get going. Yes. yes. There's some. Strange, I would hurry. We're hurrying, but there's some strange ooze that's going from our world dripping onto the lake outside. Any idea where that? Oh, I in? did see that. Another one of the after effects, I assume, of our worlds slowly grinding into one another. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, that also resolves itself. Mm -hmm. um, that, this goo is going to be... Fairy has been cut off from yeah. the moral realm for a thousand years. And my father has spent that entire time trying to find a way to break back through. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, this, this goo is going to sell for hot 
kids is what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying. We're going to find somebody who wants this. Okay. Yeah. We, can, we can stop there. That's like a perfect place to end. You guys can head back to the moral realm uh, yes. with all of your ill and good gotten gains. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to add up how much money you got? Yes. How much were the ice, the ice jewels and the fairy silver and whatnot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got very lucky here.